It's the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom Records presents the ultimate kick-ass collection. It's the greatest hits of the cowbell. You'll get them all. Mississippi Queen from Mountain. Honky Tonk Women from The Stones. Lowrider from War. <laughs> yeah. Down in the corner from Cretans. <laughs> Finally, rock's most underrated instrument steps up front. <laughs> it's Kick Ass Cowbell, <laughs> exclusively from Bob and Tom Records. You'll also get Alky the Clown's famous talking cowbell routine. Hey, how are you today, Clarence Cowbell? <laughs> Oh, is that right, man? Me too. Hey, Clarence, you want to watch a cartoon? Yeah, me too. Yeah, let's roll the cartoon, all right? Oh, oh God, I got a headache. Uh, all right, roll the <laughs> damn cartoon. Plus, you'll get the cowbell's greatest Olympic moments. It's Kick-Ass Cowbell from Bob and Tom Records. <laughs> this collection goes beyond any previous Cowbell compilations, featuring remixed classic tracks where we turn up the Cowbell. <laughs> it's Led Zeppelin. There's a lane <laughs> All in glitters is gold And she's buying the stairway yeah. The Beatles Yesterday <laughs> All my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, you want cowbell? We got it. You'll be moved when you've heard this collection. Act now and get Rock's Greatest Bells. <laughs> and Whistles. Featuring Molly Hatchet. <laughs> Steve Miller. <laughs> the Scorpions. <laughs> and of course, the theme to the Andy Griffith Show. <laughs> it's Kick Ass Cowbell only from Bob and Tom Records. No cows were harmed making this record. Unless, of course, you count the cheeseburgers we ate in the studio. Man, those were good cheeseburgers, too. I'm like, oh, boy. How about that two-headed cow the other day, huh? No. Oh, that's great. No. Kind of fr it still freaks me out. You know, I can't believe you're talking about good it. Good for a double cheeseburger. No, that... Uh. Hello, and welcome to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. There's Josh... Arnold! Hello. Hello, there's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Hello, Tom. Thank you very much. Let's How move forward doing? here. It's How a you doing, good Tom? day. I'm very excited. Uh, I know you've got to be happy. The <laughs> NFL's new year has begun. Your favorite sport now uh, getting... Free um, agent signings everywhere. Yeah. Big doings yesterday. Derrick Henry goes to the Ravens, and Patrick Queen goes from the Ravens to the Steelers. Those are the biggest uh, names from yesterday. Is this, is this big in the fantasy football realm? I would imagine. Sure. That's sure. something you've never gotten into. Right? Mm -mm. I know. tried one season, and I, I knew I shouldn't have done it, and uh, I was correct. What was the name of your team? Do you remember? The um, commanding, the commander, I forget, something about the command. Oh, the, uh, the guardians of the commanders. <laughs> That was so, so perfect. I don't know if it was that funny, but okay. I, 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 I thought it was very uh, yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two of the uh, totally generic new names yeah. in the world of sports. Yeah. Uh, now, um, uh, Pat, how are you in there? Good. And good, a, good uh, yesterday good. we had a lot of music from the Amish and a couple of great songs from you. Oh, thank you. Fun and, day. Uh, I certainly look forward to that again. Uh, we have sushi in the news today. Uh, <laughs> yep. we have, uh, now, I understand you had sushi when you were on your mini vacation <laughs> yes. over the weekend. And, <laughs> sure did. and None of us would understand what happened, but no. you were right there when they were <laughs> making the right sushi. <laughs> uh, that's what I, you told I, us. I, was, I didn't tell we us. We didn't to. understand. I was trying to make it clear that it, the restaurant is the smallest restaurant I've ever been in in my life. 
Mm-hmm. It's uh-huh. smaller okay. than the room we're in. Uh-huh. A little, but it, and it's so you are, I mean, you're on, everything is on top of you. Yeah. Uh-huh. And there was a Japanese gentleman who uh, speaks to you in Japanese when you walk in. And yeah. you, you bother Bow, him. Bow, yes. Hello, I have no idea what he said. And you said, uh, <laughs> and you said he had sam- a samurai outfit on? He did. He had some kind of a, like, either karate dude or whatever. I mean, mm-hmm. it was all... Uh, he probably said something like, you're really sunburned, mister. He probably was wearing a sushi chef outfit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like a karate yeah. dude thing. It's got, <laughs> the, like, like got the, the sash, the like belt. Like the sushi guys wear at the one you go to here in town. <laughs> right down the street. <laughs> right, down the, uh, right down the street. Where you can be up close. I, they have seating at that bar? Yeah. 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 They do. yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah. So uh, it, it was just a nice, nice experience. I had, had some very tasty sushi. Good. Unfortunately, uh, I envy your ability to <laughs> to go somewhere and and enjoy something through brand new eyes, like you've never, <laughs> like you've never uh, seen. Uh, like I didn't tell the story. Before. Eyes of a child. I mean, it, but it was a, a fun time. And in, in any event, we have sushi in the news today. Almost kind of the exact opposite of that story, actually. Yeah. From the uh, smallest to the perhaps largest. Oh, not mm. not, um, not yeah. bad sushi or good sushi. Yeah, we have um, a story about limb regeneration. <laughs> well, that's freakish. Or the, are there some lizards that can regrow their tail and stuff? Right? Yeah, starfish yeah. can yeah. regrow yeah. a limb. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. they're not quite there yet. But uh, what are starfish? They're not lizards. What are they? Are they <laughs> <laughs> are sea creatures? Are they like uh, in the mackerel family? What are they? Arthropod or something? Yeah. I'm not too sure. And then, I don't know either. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Pat, I thought we'd start off the show with a little bit of music today. Oh yeah. Uh, you had a new song yesterday, and uh, with all the. Uh, other music, I thought maybe people missed it. It's, the hubbub, it kind of late in the show, and I just think it's a it, it's a, it's one of your new classics. I think oh, that's possible to have an instant classic. Uh, it's a song about uh, contemporary life, about waking up, about what is meaningful in your life. Yes. I think, and we need more songs about uh, deep. But Josh, you're a deep meaning kind of guy. Uh, you're, I think uh, people meet you and they go, that, that guy's wise. He's a he's a deep thinker beyond his years. People yeah. know that I think. Goodly. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure. It's uh, written on his face. Yes, yeah. and you, you express it uh, uh, with words. Goodly, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank with, you. Yeah. With things like with, words. And uh, speaking of that, that all ties into this song. Uh, Pat, uh, please, if you would. This is my reason for waking up, yeah. Wake up early, slow as a turtle. Check my phone, do my wordle. Yeah. Got it in five. Five, uh uh-oh. Pour me a coffee, hope the cream doesn't curdle. Got nothing to do, already did my wordle. Maybe go for a drive. Right around seven, I go to Bob Evans with my breakfast crew. I tell the boys my favorite story. That time I got wordle in two. Nice. Wordle keeps my mind fertile. I play with my wife Myrtle. My morning mental hurdle. <laughs> Go to bed at nine. Take off her girdle. Look forward to tomorrow's wordle. Should I post today's score? Yesterday it was four. I'll text my daughter and son. I get it in one. <laughs> ah, very good. For all you wordlers out there, it's I don't know how this. Today, I, I don't know how this happened, but this wordle's kind of taken over the hallways here. Yeah. We're, we always check in with each other. So first thing we see. Yeah, we, what was the? Don't really say good morning. I got it in four. Was yeah. uh, was uh, words with friends or Candy Crush? One of the first yeah, one of these were that big. took mm-hmm. up. The, a words with friends was uh, was Scrabble. Yes. We all realized that, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. They didn't. Uh, yeah. yeah. Every, every they once weren't in pulling a while. anything over yeah. on us. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Wordle was, of course, purchased by the New York Times in 2022, and apparently they are starting to file lawsuits against imposter games, if you will. Yeah. It says, uh, according to the Associated Press, the New York Times is uh, fighting off so-called Wordle clones. Yes arguing that numerous games inspired by the mega-popular word-guessing game infringe on its copyright protections. Yeah. So no, New York I, Times came up with... with no, they, they bought it. They bought it from Remember? a guy. Remember? Oh. A, a guy was doing it with yeah. his... Didn't it? Wasn't it his girlfriend? And yeah. He would send it to her every morning. And then the New York Times picked up on the popularity they, they of it. They paid him quite a bit of money. Yeah, they did. Hmm. 
The, I, I play one of the, Vir, the Wordle clones also. Oh, you do? I've played it. I think I've played it 800 times. Oh. You can, you can just play it all day long whenever you're bored. All day long? Yeah, there's, you don't have to wait a day for a new one. Oh. I do it all the time. It, and it's the exact same game. It's, it's kind of like training, right? Except for the it's yeah. a bootleg yes. wordle. Yeah, it's a, in effect a bootleg wordle. Yeah. yeah. So, so we'll see what happens here. Hmm. But there are various uh, so-called knockoffs. Won't um, they run out of words? Oh. Uh, there are also, if you want to go down the wormhole, whatever it is, the yes. spiral, the, there are a number of uh, probably 50 articles about how to play. <laughs> uh, best words to start best with. Best words to start with. Oh, man. Arise, adore. Yeah, there is. Is there a wordle for dummies? I mean, there must be a, one of those coming out, I would think. Right? Uh, there's there's probably a program. <laughs> wordle guide? Or? There's, probably, there's, pro there's probably a computer thing that if you want to use it, it'll do it for you every morning. Well, that's no fair. I know, of course. I'm just saying, I, I imagine there's. I might go that route. <laughs> yeah. You know, if, if this word comes up, it'll tell you what the most likely. Anyway, if you've never played it, it's kind of fun. I have never played. Uh, no, yeah, have But it's uh, it's good. It's it's a good water cooler talk. I, I was addicted way. one other those kind of games, and I have to not do that because I like the one you could play all day. Oh. Yeah, I started playing it all day, and it wasn't Wordle, but it was similar. Crackle. <laughs> you know what yes. it was called. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's what's coming up in the news, Christy Lee? What is coming up in the news? We have hundreds of rolls of toilet paper on the freeway. We talked about our sushi story. We teased that a little bit. Naked guy in Florida on the beach. <laughs> you got that one. Yeah, that's, you know, see, hey, if you want guy. something, advertise. That's what I always yeah, and, say. And just mm. naked guy on the beach doesn't really say at all. No, it's worth listening for. Yeah, there are yeah. things involved. Chains, signs. Yeah. Uh, Chains, ma wow. member. Yeah, it's uh, very bizarre. It'll have, have you heard this one? A raccoon walked into a McDonald's. Oh, I love this show. See yeah. that video? <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> Stick him up. He's got a mask. I'm a McBandit. And also, would you like to have a chat? I'm a McBandit. Josh had it. Would you like to have a chat with Marilyn Monroe? I would not. No, thank you. Uh, you, you. You go ahead. Yeah. Some people might. Marilyn Monroe. Okay. You go right ahead. Well, we'll, we'll find out about that uh, coming up. Right now, we want you to be comfortable and safe as you uh, sleep and as you're wandering around your, wandering around your place. What That's do you got right. to do, Chick McGee? Uh, simply safe. The do-it-yourself, design-it-yourself home security system, comprehensive protection, and just named best home security system of 2024. My U.S. News World Report and best customer service in home security by Newsweek. Advanced technology protects every room, window, and door of your home. Cameras keep watch. High-def cameras, 24-7, backed by a professional monitoring, less than a dollar a day. No long-term contract ever. You get the emergency response you need at around half the cost of traditional home security. It's easy to install it yourself, or you can have Simply Safe's pros do it. Protect your home today and get peace of mind. Bob and Tom show listeners get a special 20% off any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. Just visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. There's no safe like Simply Safe. And of course, coming up today, sexy time with Allie Breen. We'll look forward to that as we help people with their love lives. This is the Bob and Tom show. Bob and Tom 24-7. Good morning, I'm Mark Allison. Thanks for joining us here on Bob and Tom Radio. I watch a lot of news. Uh, by the way, my favorite news channel is CNN Headline News. Is it? Because uh, there's, no, there's no segue between stories. They nope. go from polar opposite A to B <laughs> with nothing in between. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what the future looks like with a nuclear North Korea. <laughs> Coming up next, a boy in Pittsburgh collects nickels. <laughs> like the news for people with ADD. We're all going to die. Hey, a horsey. <laughs> Squirrel. <I'm gonna laughs> but fine. these are some news stories that I, uh, can, uh, I, uh, I noticed over the past... Uh, several weeks. Can mm -hmm. I, can sure. I share yeah. something? Sure. Uh, a woman in England pled guilty to disturbing the peace with her noisy lovemaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, she said guilty, but you could totally tell she was faking it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure. A company in Ireland created the world's first ever uh, green technology vibrator mm -hmm. that's powered by winding it up. Mm-hmm. Which means basically, it's a jack in the box. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Technically, it is. <laughs> Bob uh, goes. Sesame Street turned 40 years old. Sure. Last year, which you could tell because uh, Big Bird uh, got an earring and a Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Part of the team that launched the first, the first low salt, low sugar peanut butter into the category. It was called Simply Jif. It was targeted towards diabetics. I wanted to call it Type Two Peanut Goo. But <laughs> yeah, of course you don't feel good, Greg. You ate an entire rotisserie chicken at 11:30 at night. You shoved the whole thing in your fat face in six minutes, Greg. I think he ate the rubber band that holds a legend on it. Man, come on. My birth certificate? That document is 54 years old. I also don't have the Declaration of Independence. Because I don't know if you've ever seen an organic peanut butter kid go out the deep end. <laughs> it is not pretty. OK, these kids? They spend 18 years eating it, then they go off to college. They have one bite of a GIF sandwich. Six weeks later, they're passed out on a park bench with nutter butters all over their face. <laughs> It's called Scrotums. Huh? <laughs> Tom's right, Bob. New Scrotums can relieve indigestion and jock itch in just minutes. Hey, feeling better, Bob? Oh, like a million bucks. <laughs> Let me buy you a beer. Great. And how about some nuts? Thanks. Yes, thanks to Scrotums, Bob can have a handful of nuts without attracting disgusted stares or worrying about a bad case of indigestion. Scrotums, the only product on the market that relieves jock itch and indigestion at the same time. Get your hand out of the front of your pants, put it in your back pocket, pull out your wallet, and buy some Scrotums today. Just look for the fuzzy little bag the next time you're at the drugstore. Scrotums from Frigham All Pharmaceuticals, the same people who brought you the product that relieves painful corns on your feet and itchy hot hemorrhoids. Cornhole H. Right, Bob? Rightio. <laughs> Bob and Tom, 24-7. Comedy via your computer. Bob and Tom, 24-7. This is Bob and Tom, 24-7. Can I tell you something? Hey. My mother used to chew her toenails. No way. In front of me. Oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> Clothed or not? I would Clothed. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a visual. Oh, Bob has oh, lost oh, it over there. Halo Besto, right here. <laughs> <laughs> right here. That would be, uh, you know. <laughs> totally uh, even, naked. I think How did you even get, think of that? You would get, See anything you like, boy? I, think I remember that. Free psychiatry <laughs> for life. Free Prozac, <laughs> whatever you want. program for that. <laughs> we are going to fix you. How about it, boy? <laughs> Anything you like? You can imagine the twisting oh that would be involved. There's a lot of people who can't even do that. Okay. She was very Show's limber. Over. Show's over. Hi, this is Rodney Carrington. And hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're all here on a uh, hump day, right? Yeah. Oh, whoever yeah. 
Who came up with that? Huh? that was, yeah. You sound very enthusiastic. That about was quite a quite the guy, it's, huh? It's, uh, I still hey, love, let's call Wednesday Hump Day. I still huh? love that with the the, cow, the camel walking through the oven. Really? I love that commercial. You love things for a very very long time. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you have any favorite commercials? All time um, favorites? Uh, well, yeah, there must I don't be a know. couple you really like. There's one know. that's happening right now, this time of year. I like Chick the, and I talk about it every year. What? How uh, they are? Yes, nice. Cadbury. Yes. Yeah. They are still showing that old the one Cadbury, where, the auditions, the animals. The bunny rabbit is uh, uh, balking like a chicken. Yeah, right? The lion. Yeah, the lion. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a good one. The lion has bunny ears on it. I mean, that's got to yeah. be 45, 50 I'm glad years they old. Stick no. with the classics. Yes. I wonder what the longest running. Cause for a while, I know the answer it was Calgon. It was the Calgon ancient Chinese secret commercial. Yeah. I thought I'm going to the... guess it's the owl and the Tootsie I was Roll Pop. Just going to say that. Yeah. Tootsie Roll Pop. Because that yeah. had. 70s for sure. And the Jimmy Dean goes back quite a ways. One particular commercial? Well, no, his uh, voice goes there's, there's back two, quite yeah. a ways, obviously. There's two variations, I think. Mm. Wow. Um, well, we can do some homework and find out what they... But yeah, I, I love that Hump Day commercial. And, and the guy that does that voice is the guy... Uh, he was the heavy set guy. Yeah, do you On know? On This Is Us? On This Is Us, yeah. He's, he's got the guy's he's, name. Oh, uh, Chris... Chris yes. Sullivan. There you go. Oh, very, very good. good. Yes. Uh, Fine actor. And the woman who goes, I know... It's hump day. He's uh, one of the people in uh, Sullivan's uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, he's so, like razor face. Razor or face yeah. or something, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got his entire face <laughs> covered up. With, uh, uh, yeah. He's uh, the, uh, pretty, pretty good friends with Drew, our buddy Drew Powell. Yeah. And Drew's in um, a new movie out there. Oh, and it's doing well at the box office, too. That's good. Um, Angel. Angels. Ordinary so Angels. Ordinary, Ordinary Angels. Angels. Yeah, yes. I'm going to see it this weekend. Looking forward to it. Um, now, uh, we have uh, Christy Lee at the news desk, but before yep. we move to news... Oh, wait a minute. On the way into work today, Ace, you are not alone. There was a guy in front of me in a van, and his whole back window was bubble-wrapped. Yeah. See, that, see, that's dangerous. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't yeah. see through bubble yeah. wrap Yeah, you like can't that. see are through we, bubble wrap. You can't see through his vis queen either. either. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Are we approaching a year anniversary on this? I th I got I get the feeling we are, and there's no way of telling, obviously, because he won't tell us the truth. But I mean, it's been it's yeah. been once, a while. Once again, Ace is a taped over. I the, know it's been over. Six window dropped Let's into talk the free back agents door. Here. Uh, It'd be it's an easy fix. <laughs> okay, well, I know. It's, it's good luck. All right. <laughs> you haven't had any dates, obviously. You're not gonna pick up. You're not gonna pick oh, up. Oh, this some guy's a winner. Yeah. Wow. yeah. That's, well, there's, that's a good here's one. Captain Success in the Success Mobile. He's got the uh, dry cleaner plastic. Put this blindfold on. Get in. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, yes. Well. <laughs> that's an, it's an adventure, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're not using the bag over their head anymore, huh? That's, that's... Hey guys, uh, this is from uh, let's see, Clint. Uh, I just bought my wife and I tickets to the April 5th Charleston, West Virginia show. No, re no refunds. No refunds. <laughs> <laughs> they're, not, they're not saying that. Oh, oh. Uh, they say the last time we got to see the Bob and Tom comedy tour was in 2006. She was just my girlfriend. The next year we were married. Yes, we've been married 17 years. Wow. And he says, yes, Chick, I know there's a way out of it, but... She, that's a joke I make. On, I ask people how long they've been right. married. And, 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 you know, of course. 25 nice years. Nice callback. You know, uh, you know, there's a way out of it. She keeps me stocked in chocolate milk and baby back ribs. Oh, well, how about that? Mm. Oh. Uh, can't wait to see the show. Uh, I'm going to be there for the radio show there in Charleston, too. So. Oh, nice. Thank you, Clint, from yeah. uh, beautiful St. Albans. Look forward okay. to seeing you. So that's, love uh, your support. Uh, Charleston, West Virginia will be there uh, Friday morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, doing the show uh, at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. And then we've got a uh, stand-up comedy show that evening featuring Patty G., Willie G., Jeff Oske. Christian and I will be your host. Josh Arnold will, of course, be on stage doing some great stand-up. It's going to be fun. Uh, the morning show will feature the Brass to Mouth Horns and Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. So uh, the morning show uh, is uh, free if you want to come over and mm. say hi. Yes. Uh, we'll start at 6 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. I say it that way because um, the daylight time thing is still kind of kicking my ass. I'm, really? I'm uh, you right know, there really with you. You really don't lose yeah. an hour. You right know. there with you, brother. <sighs> well, tell that to my dogs, okay? <laughs> 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 um, now, we will uh, push on to Chick McGee in the world of sports. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got NFL news and free agent signings, but I know uh, one of the people listening to the sportscast... 
he could be in this room. He's not going to sit still for, if I go down the list, Kirk Cousins, Baker Mayfield, Russell Wilson, Gardner Minshew, all with new name, uh, new teams. Gardner, we're going to miss you. Jacoby Brissett, Jameis Winston, Tyrod Taylor, Sam Darnold, Drew Locke, and then that's just the quarterbacks. Then there's a, a equal uh, uh, longer list for running backs that have changed teams. Wide, it keeps going and going, and I can tell that you want to say something about me being boring. I don't know. Which is really, you know, uh, kills my heart, but that's fine. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I, 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 are you saying you wouldn't have said something if I hadn't approached it this way? <laughs> is that right? Sure so best, now you're not only hurtful, traits. but you're a liar as well. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Uh, Derek Henry is leaving the Titans. Uh, he's going to be a Baltimore Raven. A two-year deal worth $20 million. And correct me if I'm wrong, and I know you will. I think that's $10 million a year. Two years, $20 no, million? Oh, yeah. geez. Really uh, am, I, those am I way wrong? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, also, the Cleveland Browns, Tom, I don't want to break your heart, but uh, they've agreed to sign quarterback Jameis Winston as a backup for Deshaun Watson. Uh, Winston does good. Well, <laughs> got a football Singer, right? player yeah. should. Oh, there you go. The person <laughs> says uh, JJ is getting a one-year deal worth $8.7 million. Uh, it's not become official yet, of course, the new year uh, in the league begins today. Joe Flacco's agent, though, the... The old backup quarterback says uh, his client did not receive an offer from Cleveland to stay in the Forest City. Flacco went 4-1 and one for Cleveland last season, but uh, just beautifully and magnificently lost the, uh, the playoff game last year to the mm. Texans. I think he threw three interceptions. Ooh. Was it something like that? At least two, I, I plainly remember. He's certainly comfortable, as you said. He doesn't yeah, need the money. He's, he he's can... made, yeah, and he was having a nice time. On his couch, drive, yeah, that, this is what you like about him. He was driving his kids back and forth to school. Um, I, not that you would ever do that. But, but, I pick uh, up my kids at school all the time. I, I don't drive them I to school because I'm in here. I think you have, uh, yeah, I think you have no, people doing that for not you. ever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here's an uh, Olympic note. Are you ready for the, we don't have a, we, we need a theme for the Paris Olympics. Um, Some sort of music. Oh, with kind of a French feel to it? French feel, like. Uh, mm. Don't they use an accordion? Like Ceci Bon? What is, or what, what is Ceci Bon? Oh. Con, 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 concertina? Concertina? Is that what the small? Is that what that is? Is that what that is, Pat? Yeah. Is this too formal? Yeah, that's way too formal. Oh. La okay. Vie en Rose. Yeah, well, that's wait, a good wait, wait. How, how about this one? Oh, oh yeah, not bad. I mean, this that sounds Italian. Reeks of Paris. And I mean oh. reeks. <laughs> oh, I like it smells this. like cigarettes and B.O. Uh, it reminds me of Paris. This doesn't sound French uh, to me. This sounds Italian. Really? And, of course, it reeks of Fifi. Ah, oh, Fifi. Ah, uh, Fifi. Ah, uh, sweet, sweet Fifi. Heard that old joke? <laughs> you know that joke, Christy, the guy on the bus? No, I don't think Repeatedly I Repeatedly smelling his finger, ah, uh, Fifi. Uh, and it ends with, uh, I like that. Say what it ends with. Smell my elbow uh, or yeah, something? More or less, yeah. And then it's associated with a name of a particular ethnicity. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Yeah, oh, no. yeah. Oh, it's a good bit. A, a big very hairy of, woman. Okay, yeah, kind of a big... Uh, a huge <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Implying that the, the vast space... Between. There aren't any uh, <laughs> French uh, rock and roll bands, are there? Sure. There must be, but who? All right. Yeah, yeah. Who? yeah, yeah. Um, uh, there's one called Trust. Uh, <laughs> Trust. There was the Poussette Dart Band... Remember that one, Ace? Are you are you counting that? Was just another website. They were mentioned playing a. Concert. And then and you're then, counting them as French. You, the guy has a French name. No, no, they had a. They were from France, right? And they had a minor <laughs> they hit. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, 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 Peter Frampton. Even didn't Peter was Peter Frampton the one talking about playing with Johnny Holiday? Mm-hmm. The Who's French, Johnny Holiday? He was the French Elvis. He, he was sounds huge. Like, uh, oh, yeah, he only died like three or four years yeah. ago, right? Yeah. yeah. Johnny did, Holiday sounds like an L.A. talk show host. Yeah. Tonight on the Jolly Holiday Show. Johnny Holiday Show. <laughs> was, I'm, no, I'm, I can't, we've talked to so many people lately. Was, that was Peter Frampton, right? I believe yes. so, yes. There was a pop rock song. Chick, you might remember it. Uh, do long, don't, da, 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 da. Yeah, I can't oh, imagine. Oh, yes. I, I, can't I, imagine don't, I know you. I don't get it. But, I do uh, know what you're talking about. It was a Le Maire. La That kind of thing. I want to hear it. Now. I can't. It's kind of cool. 
Uh, we'll we'll, we'll dig these up. Uh, I'm watching Jason have apoplexy. <laughs> <laughs> I know how Dean felt. <laughs> There's the song Metro about the... Uh, oh, yeah, Berlin. <laughs> nice song. What about, yes, uh, yes. what about One Night in Bangkok? That's in Paris, right? Yeah. Bangkok. Oh, <laughs> Bangkok used to be in Paris. <laughs> they <laughs> they uh, moved it. Am yeah. I right on this? Yeah. Yeah. And I think Murray Head was behind the yeah. move. Ah. One Night in Paris. I can't we... <laughs> what about Zoomy, Zoomy, Zoomy? Your boss, yeah, your I massage like parlors. <laughs> <laughs> that's, way, my, that's my Murray head. By the way, head. anybody beside me that uh, always found that Maurice Chevalier, thank heaven for little girls, creepy. Oh, well, it, was creepy. it was creepy then. Depending yeah. on yeah, how you want to listen to it, I suppose. I don't know, some guy in a tuxedo smoking a cigarette. I, I, just, it, you know. Kevin. I don't think Maurice Chevalier ever smoked a cigarette, I don't think. Well, he uh, had a straw hat. How about this Murray headline, uh, Chick? I get my kicks above the waistline, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember this. Oh, remember. yeah. That, that song is so amazing. Oh, it's... <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't either. What about Zuby? You don't remember that? <laughs> yeah, from Mad Men. Yeah, yeah Mad Men. Zuby, Zuby, yeah, Zoo. Like that, or that was uh, a marginal oh, yeah. hit while they, that show was on, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. The 10 most popular French songs that have topped the U.S. charts. Here we go. Now we've got La something. Vie en Rose from 1940. Something, sure. about, yeah. uh, something about a rose. Yes, yep. yep. along live the rose or yep. whatever, the life yep. of a rose. La Mer, Charles Trennett, oh. 1946. Oh, that's beyond the sea. Oh. Uh, and I was supposed to La Mer'd. Oh, I, yes. like, I like La Mer'd. That's yeah. a good La Mer. song. Yeah. Uh, now nah, my French sucks. What's La Mer'd, Tom? The sea. A castrated <laughs> horse mean? or something? Oh, La Mer'd <laughs> is... Uh, a gelding? Uh, uh, it's the what? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I Mais see. Mais Cripa, that's from 1959. What? Do we have anything in the semi-contemporary? Oh, the singing nun, Dominique. Oh, Dominique. 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 Yeah, yeah, there that. you go. That's, that's just as fresh as today's headlines for Dominique. Dominique. That's in the early Dominique. 60s. Oh, that's a, that was the that was the nun. That was the a huge nun. hit. Yes. That was a that huge story. hit. 63. The, and that story really ends badly. Oh, the song? Oh my no, the God. singing nun. Oh, <laughs> we could have sat here all morning and talked, and here we are. <laughs> In the end, it was the swinging nun. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm blissfully unaware, so I will. I can't I'll remain that God. way. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't murdered. Oh, a hanging. That's contextually. Autoerotic. The swinging nun. I thought you meant she was wild. Oh, oh it wasn't swinging. It was, she was. <laughs> yeah, there may have been a, yeah, okay. a rafter creaking. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, that's, I guess we've got time. Can you have that as a chapter title? There's a rafter cre <laughs> creaking. <laughs> Dominique was here. Uh, I guess we've got time to pick one. Uh, the, the, the Parisian Olympics don't get underway until when is it? Uh, July? July? Yeah. I can have that done for you by next week. What do you mean? What? You're going to have somebody write? Yeah, I got my guy. I got Matt. He'll do something nice for us. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, now, now, Josh, this is the song in, in question. I, I don't know. I think you'll recognize this. Um, is this Dominique? Uh, yeah. Please, mm -hmm. don't. To just. Uh, how? How? Um, well, well, Pat, bought, they played it on the air. And, uh, there were a lot less. That uh, clicked with the, with the yeah, yeah. Apparently. Wow. But the nuns mobbed up. Is that how they got it on the air or something? <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, it, just, it was one of those crazy <laughs> things that that's. Yeah, it was uh, Jean Paul Marie Jenny Deckers. Okay. Uh, uh, this is, I think, is this the A song that he was. <laughs> see, I get, I see, I get this. No, I guess someone heard the Beach Boys, uh, but it sounds like oh, one, of those, punk, yeah. one of those list songs. There, yeah. Yes. That's cool. Mm. That's a fun one. Oh, okay. What was that one? Wow. Uh, that, 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 that big list of that's things. That's almost like they... That sounded a little with, like... Uh, this is the end of Life the world. Is right. Yeah, Life is a Rock. Yeah, now, Life is a Rock, but the radio rolled oh, me. The same thing where it's just a list Maybe of things. Maybe it's the same song, he's just doing it in French. 
Oh, I'm not sure it's that close, but... Um, Do we have someone who can uh, translate? Maybe he's cursing. Um, think Sophie can, but she's asleep. Okay, well, um, anyway, yeah. Barbiturates and alcohol, not a hanging. Uh, the, uh, oh, my God. St- <laughs> oh, it's got to be. It's got to be. Sophie? Yeah. Yeah. Time to no, move on. No, the singing nun. <laughs> really? Yes. I said it ended badly. I don't know why you guys pressed me for the information. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like you had a little bit of a party before. <laughs> why can't we play a nice, like, La Vie en Rose? You know, it's such a You're beautiful song. You're obsessed with La Vie en Rose. It's my fa- one of my favorite songs You don't of find it time. melancholic at all? Maybe nice it's because of pink. That, maybe it's because of her story. I like the yeah. one from uh, The Sea. What's the name? La, La, La Mer. Mer. Is it Beyond the Sea? It is. Oh. Uh, beyond La Mer. <laughs> There's a Beyond La Mer. It's about living away from the barn <laughs> when you're in the French wine country. <laughs> because you see the barn, you see, Mer- where all the merit Mer- is full of. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, word. No, uh, word. So we're looking for some French music for the Olympics because do you have a story about the Olympics? Ha, ha, ha. I really thought that second one you played was perfect. That chick didn't like. Which one? It set the, set the scene, didn't it? Yeah. No, the generic. This one? Yes, yes. I love it. Uh, yes, I know I'm in Paris. Yeah. It smells like B.O. Walking and along the Seine. Cigarettes. Yeah. And I'm the ugly American. Grab my baguette with both hands. Mm. You and think this is big? <laughs> <laughs> this is me and you later. <laughs> you like? <laughs> you, 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 are, you are swooning? <laughs> <laughs> you not in love now? What about Pepe Le Pew? He's not busy. He could be our Olympic star. Sure, still, he's um, right here. Still one of my favorite cartoons. And, it was, and it was pulled. I yeah. don't understand it. Well, it is borderline sexual no, assault. It's, but it, no, yeah. it's all about... Well. The, the lesson it is sending is that you want things to be consensual. There's never any... You know, the more you the more you defend it, actually, the worse oh, yeah. it sounds. Oh, yeah. the, episode, the episode where the cat gets run over by the car putting... The, or the truck putting the stripes on the freeway. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. I mean, how yeah. funny? How much funnier could anything be? Come on. Uh, everything almost always. So oh. she turns the tables on him. Let's yes, never forget does. that. Yeah, she's yes. the winner. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, she's a winner. It's it's very true to the to to, to the world. Now uh, it's time now to um, he is harmless. Talk about uh, standing up tall. We'll have the uh, having a non sore back, having your knees actually <laughs> function because uh, everything starts down at the bottom. It's like when you're building a house, you got to have a nice foundation. Tell me more, Josh. You know we've decided not to use concrete or uh, cinder blocks. We're going to go with Jello. How does that sound? No. Terrible. Of I'm, course, that's a bad idea. How about baloney? That also will fail. Orangeinsoles.com, well, they're here to save the day, aren't they? If you have back pain, hip pain, knee pain, you know how much it affects that daily routine of yours. It's super frustrating, especially when you don't know why it's happening. Well, we have a suggestion for you. It might just be, as Tom said, that foundation of yours. Of course, I'm talking about your feet. If you work on your feet all day, you're putting stress on that body. What kind of support is currently in your shoes, I ask? Uh Uh-huh. Waiting. You see, is oh, it, oh. It, that floppy thing that came with the shoes? Yeah, exactly. Which is like, it's like cutting up a piece of bologna and putting it down yeah, there. No. Of course, that'll attract ants. It will attract ants, and it won't help you out. No. It's lame support. It's not good. It's In fact, it's zero support. For real support, go to orangeinsoles.com. They offer arch support and a deep cup to properly support that heel of yours, your feet, and thusly your entire body. Help! alleviate that pain with orange insoles. Think of a table. If it's wobbling, that means zero support. It all starts from the ground up, my friends. You know that. And these are great for work boots, sneakers, dress shoes, high heels, golf shoes, you name it. Now, yesterday we decided flip-flops might not be terribly uh, <laughs> practical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think you'd have to super glue them on. Well, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, then be, they'd look cool because you got the, hey, those are kind of cool, orange and... You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Flip-flops right now. <laughs> <laughs> go to God, orange, you did. Go to orangeinsoles.com. Take that insole quiz they have. They're just going to ask you a few questions. They're going to get the perfect fit for you. Nothing difficult, although there is this question. If you go to orangeinsoles.com today and you uh, order something, how free is that shipping? The answer is very very free. Free shipping, plus orange insoles come with a 60-day. We want you to be happy. Guarantee. No cutting required. That's also a hassle with those other insoles, lesser insoles. You have to get the scissors out, make sure you cut them true to size. No! These are already fitted for you. That's orangeinsoles.com. Feel better. Do more. Thank you very much, Josh. Uh, coming up, we have... Uh, we'll well, have that Olympic story that uh, we haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. With our new uh, Paris Olympics music, hopefully. Oh, we have new music? Well, I don't know. We're, we're still looking. Okay, wait, let me try this one. 
Yeah, wow. that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, sorry, what's wrong, country? Oh, I, well, I I'm sure it. they have restaurants. Oh, nope, that's oh, not yeah, either. Well, we'll, we'll keep trying. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch. Uh, this room just got so much more handsome. Because in the studio, on his way to the legendary Go Bananas in Cincinnati, Ohio, it will be Greg Hahn. He's right here with us. Hey, Greg. Hey, I'm all excited. Thanks for having me here, everybody. Oh, yeah, hey, it's baby. Friday. Come on. <laughs> Go to your boss's office and say, what this company needs is a trampoline. Yeah! <laughs> you know me. I've got volume control issues. Give me a hand. I was born eight and a half months early. Come on. You know Whoa, me. That is Comedy's not my thing. Let's go. Friday <laughs> starts the week. I'm the guy that invented peel and eat shrimp. Come on. Yeah, there you <laughs> Look go. for me in my new show. I'm the star of Dog Walker, Texas Ranger. Check it out. <laughs> Animal Planet. I'd you got to wake up pretty early in the morning. Outsmart me. How early? 8.30 ought to do it. Come on. Hey. <laughs> Greg Hahn is here with us. Hey, Greg, how are you, sir? Looking, I'm great. Looking right. very, very handsome. Uh, Greg, of course, a uh, veteran of the Marine Corps. Ah, hit him in the head. We don't have all day. <laughs> <laughs> Too slow. Get back. As you can see. Uh, my new thing, Tom, is acting. Oh, I'm actor. a great actor. I didn't know this. I'm a great I've been going to acting classes. Oh, do a scene for me. I kid you. Okay, well, I gave uh, Chrissy some lines. You did? Oh. oh and we'll okay. do our acting scene. Okay. I've, been ta I've taken like over 20 hours of acting wow. classes. Wow. Wow. I kid you not. All right, we're going to do a scene. Go ahead, Chrissy. Go ahead. Greg, right. you're yeah. unapproachably handsome, and it's impossible not to dream about you. Why don't you just do the lines, Christy? We well, can talk about this after it. the show. <laughs> do the bit. Try the second line. Do the second. You're on a... forget, Okay, forget the first. Do the second line. <laughs> but, Greg, when you walk past me and my girlfriends with your totally realistic hair color, how could we be expected not to fling our clothes against the wall? Just do. Can we do some comedy? That's what I'm reading. Do the, do the stuff I put. Read what I wrote. I read. All right, what forget you it. Wrote. Tom, what's in the news? She won't forget do it. it. She won't do it. Here, give me the. Let me give me the lines. Let me try. That's what is written. Well, on just give page. me the. Give me the paper. You read it. Okay. I think what, uh, Greg, what Greg is suggesting here. She's obviously in love with Greg. All right. She's exactly. Yes. Obviously. She won't even do the bit. No, no she won't. She can't help herself. She's too yeah. hung up on you. It's embarrassing for all of us. Hey, hi. I'm Tom. This is Chick. That's Josh. And this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guests. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, or if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th, that's a free show and then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale now, and they're going fast. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! <laughs> I was with a friend who will be We are, uh, you know what? I'm waiting, us, what people... us as guys are also amazed. And he, he goes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm sorry. This guy. So Christy, so Christy, you're, you're talking with one of your not boyfriends, but Just male a guy friend. friend yeah. And he goes, I can get a woman to send me a naked photo within the next 10 minutes. And? I go, no way. Eight and a half minutes later, bing. Wow, Monsignor, <laughs> that is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay, that's less than eight minutes. What happened now? Send me a video of their ex girlfriend. Show no, show it to Tom. I can't. I don't want Christy cover your eyes. Oh, oh I've no. seen it all. Uh, no, no, no. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow. Evidently, she's lost her keys. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That is, yeah. Does that look like something out of the movie Dune or what? <laughs> that, it really does. Oh, let me word it this way. That puts the C in graphic. Wow. Uh, we yeah. must. We must. Uh, I've got wow. wow. to go. Hold to on the, a second. I've got to go. That to, is a slut. I've got to. <laughs> no. That is an ex-girlfriend. That's not uh, That's not someone making a sandwich, even though it looks like it. Wow. No, it Wash your hands and make me a cheese sandwich. Oh, Mommy, oh, why man. is that woman massaging two pancakes? Oh, Wait a minute.
disco lifestyle. <laughs> I like to live in a disco world. <laughs> Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of loads of curvy cleavage on display. <laughs> the thrill of victory <laughs> and the agony of defeat. <laughs> Don't touch those. Sorry. <laughs> the human drama of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. This is... The Bob and Tom Show. No shoes, no shirt, no talent. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> We appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. A little bit. <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. That's awful. Awful entertaining. Essential morning radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom. That coming up real soon. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're talking about the uh, Paris Olympics coming up. It's going to be great. I'm very excited. Yeah, you're very excited about this. The beautiful city. I do enjoy the uh, the camera that they have on uh, tracks, if you will, for the uh, track and field events where they they go right with the runners. That's uh, as cool as anything, isn't it? That's mm -hmm. pretty. Uh, and they got the stuff for the uh, the boats. They've got them, they're right there. It's so cool. Stuff for the boats. Yeah, they'll have cameras so you can see what's going on. They'll be running mm. along. Um, the, the coverage is amazing. You think there's a guy running mm. along? It's not a guy. They're gonna... <laughs> 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 is she real shaky? <laughs> you know who's the real MVP of these Olympics <laughs> is Artie, our cameraman. Look at him go. Those guys are. He man. recorded the Bourne movies, of course, uh, and now he's... Yeah, <laughs> I do have an obscure uh, uh, trivia fact about Olympic coverage of the uh, Here we go. boat racing. All right. A, a friend of mine... Um, Mm -hmm. uh, worked for the. Uh, uh, well, 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 how do I word this? I they, bet uh, this is as boring they, as anything. No, they, <laughs> they, they were faking the uh, the sound of the rowing. They were faking, faking the it. sound of the rowing. Yeah, they would. That's how this story's starting. They would record it during practices. What? Yeah, and then when they would broadcast, he put it into an whatever, like an in those days, an emulator, it was like a, a keyboard, like a. You know, piano keyboard, but for a computer, and then yeah. because they can't get too close during the races to get the sound right, because mm. if they're oh, if, if, about if, our friend Terry, aren't if you? their boats yeah. are close, they're going to disturb the racing. Mm -hmm. So they would record that, and then when they would play it on the air, that he'd be sitting there. Going, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. So that really uh, added to the coverage. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, th th yeah. those were the days. Remember when they piped it in the sounds like they it. piped yeah. in the birds of the Masters tournament, yes. and some yeah. birder yeah. called sound up and said, "Hey, important. look, that's you know, that's the that's the Josh Arnold warbler that doesn't exist in hmm. anywhere in Georgia." Okay, uh, whatever you say, Tom. Yeah. <clears throat> in, in any in any event, I'm sorry. You had a news story about the Olympics, <laughs> and you just you just, just you just wanted some French music. No, we don't. Well, it's it's plain and obvious uh, that we're not going to have any. So that's. We're, we've still got time to look, but it's it's getting close. I think this is perfect. Uh, I, I want, no, Chick's going to be doing these stories for a while. We uh, we want him to be happy with the music. He, I'm, on the sure. I'm on the Champs Elysees. He deserves the music he wants. I like to pronounce it Champs Elysees. Because <laughs> <laughs> we are the champs. Wait, it's it's not pronounced like that? <laughs> it ain't Champs Elysees? <laughs> Uh, Kelly Clarkson and Peyton Manning. Yes, uh, those 
to uh, will bring uh, together <laughs> uh, for NBC's upcoming Paris Olympics coverage this summer. The network announced that Clarkson and Manning are expected to join Mike Tirico to host the opening ceremonies. Okay. The live coverage will air July 26th on NBC and Peacock at noon Eastern time. Manning P says Peacock. Oh, thank you. Uh. Peacock. A man, he says... My favorite restaurant in Paris. Uh, was the peacock? peacock? No, it's called Le Petit Cock. <laughs> oh, well, that's a good one. That means the tiny penis. Yeah, mm. well, it's a, the little rooster, you moron. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm serious. It was a great place. Uh, the trio will be positioned at the Trocadero, which means three-headed monster, mm -hmm. near the ceremonies finished with views of the... What is it? Sin? Sand? Sand? Sin. CNA? What is it? Sin. The river. Sin. The river Sin. And the Ifill Tower. Ah. That's right. On the Champs Alyssus? Oh, gosh. <laughs> and uh, I swear to God, I read a Champs Alyssus every time I see it. Do you really? Savannah and Hoda will serve as host. Ace, Hoda's, your girl's going to be there, so don't worry. I think Kelly Clarkson is endlessly likable. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. a really good, really good choice. Aiden, friend of the show. Of course. Good luck. He's we, haven't be great. I, we haven't talked to him since I've been here. <laughs> you because he found <laughs> out you were here. Uh, it is? That's why I've been, I really want, I want to talk to him. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> get, that, get that guy out of here. Can I at least talk to Eli? By the way, did you live on. next to a... Did, when you grew up, did you live next to a city called Arnold? Yeah. Yeah, real close. In fact, my I lived in Arnold for a little bit. Arnold, Missouri? Yeah. The Arnolds of Arnold, Missouri. Uh -huh. Yeah. If that ain't a sitcom, I'll kiss your ass. Yeah, my brother John and I lived in Arnold together, yeah. Oh, that's right, because he kicked you out for the his wife now, right? Yes. Who was named, her last name is Arnold, and Ooh. is now, did you do a? Did she they, married into the Arnolds. Did they do a, uh, you know, DNA? Make sure that you weren't were like first cousins or something? They did, and uh, they said the results were, uh, didn't matter or something. I, I forget. <laughs> John looked at it and went, this couldn't be right, ripped it up, and it was fine. Is there fine. any funnier scene than in Wolf of Wall Street when Jonah Hill explains to DiCaprio <laughs> about how he and his wife aren't related, but he goes, yeah, well, my wife's father is my mom's brother. <laughs> DiCaprio's, like, yeah, DiCaprio's like, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That explains it. Your first cousin. Yeah, we have a, a letter that uh, uh, comes to us from Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Saying, I live Stop in... Stop crying, Jamie. I live in Arnold, Missouri. She goes, which is right next to Josh's hometown of Fenton, sure. Missouri. I, so I did not know that. Yeah. Did John marry his wife because she's from the Arnolds from Arnold, Missouri? So for money? <laughs> it's a great Sadly, letter. no. It's this a, is totally off topic, but you'll like this, Christy. Yes. Because you and I have both uh, were able, lucky enough to see the the band, the Monkees. Oh yeah. And they're famous. Uh, they did a bunch of tours. Mm -hmm. oh, they, the, in the early MTV era, they did a big Monkees revival. That's when I saw them. I think that's when I saw them too at Six Flags. I, think I saw them. Uh, well, this Disney is exactly World. this is exactly the same show. I think. Whoa! She said, um, "I heard you talking about the monkeys the other day. I have a strange story. My family and I saw the monkeys perform at Six Flags. In the uh, I was about seven or eight years old. For some reason, Davy Jones threw something into the crowd. It turned out to be a car key. My sister caught it." Ooh. She was then bombarded with teenage girls trying to get it. My dad covered her up to protect her. Uh, it was a key, uh, excuse me, it was a car key to a Chrysler. Mm. And Davey said, this is the key to my car. After the show, we went to the souvenir stand, bought a wooden keychain with the name Davey on it, and my sister still has it. Nice. By the way, there were thousands of cars <laughs> in the parking lot. We weren't about to go try <laughs> The key to see which one started. How odd! So that is odd. Throw in yeah. Yeah, he must have been high then. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I can probably say that when I saw Davy, judging by the crater yeah. of cocaine dangling between some nose hairs. Oh, really? He was uh, having, yeah, he was having a good afternoon. We were yeah. none the wise. We loved it. We saw this. The, oh, they were, by the way, uh, editor's note: they were terrific. Yeah, we, we saw were. the early show, and we all liked it so much. We stayed for the evening show. Cool. Oh. And a great band. Yep. And we rode roller coasters in between. Chick, it was a hell of a day. Oh, that's Perfect. Perfect, Agent. Sounds you, like it. Did you have ice cream? 
No, we were. Oh, you know what? Maybe there was a place called Colonnades at Six Flags. Didn't you have uh, ice cream and an elephant ear? And some pizza, turkey legs. Get some pizza. And, and four hot leg. dogs. Hell of a day. Right? Turkey legs. And a great big sit down at the end of the day. <laughs> ah, yes. Fat, oh, really yeah. fat. He's really fat, Tom. That's the thing. I missed the monkeys I was eating. No. <laughs> I tried to eat the monkeys then. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the middle of a turkey leg. Hey, kid, please don't eat the monkeys. <laughs> So, so fat, I'm so, so fat. I am the fattest, I am fat. Nobody's fatter than me. Nobody's fatter than me. All I do, I eat and jerk and jerk and eat. Take them panties off and put the salami on. Pack me with a breadstick. Pack me with a breadstick. Pack me with a breadstick. And yet, those lyrics are better than any of the lyrics to an America song. Amazing. Amazing. Incredible. That's so wrong. When we come back, what do you call an egg in the middle of a piece of toast? Uh, we have a, we have the answer right again here. with yeah. this. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Does it have to do with amphibians? Um, Frog and a toad. And a... Oh, that'd be good. But no, uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel. Okay, let's go see Bob and Tom. Yeah! You can't say it on the air. Trust me. Not the way you want to do it. You, we no, no, I've no. been over this a hundred times. No, if you say that, we're going to get a fine. We're not going to get a fine. The average idiot's going to perceive it as the noun. No, you, no, no, no. We can't do that. You can't say that on the air. It has no meaning as a verb, whereas my term can be taken two ways. That's why the no. joke has a joke. No, you can't do that. Kids, let, let me just ask you this. Am I right? The only way to make this joke funny, you've got to use the word cornhole. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. nominations with decisive victories in a slate of low-profile primaries setting up a general election rematch many voters do not want the outcome of contest Tuesday in Georgia Mississippi and Washington state never in doubt neither Biden a Democrat nor Trump a Republican faced major opposition Robert F Kennedy jr. is having conversations with vice presidential candidates as he gets closer to announcing his running mate for his independent presidential bid. Kennedy told the New York Times that NFL quarterback Aaron Rodgers and former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura are at the top of his list. Kennedy has focused on getting access to ballots across the country. Many states require him to name a running mate before he can begin the process of qualifying for the ballot. And the New York Times is fighting off Wordle clones 
arguing that numerous games inspired by the mega popular word guessing game infringe on its copyright protections. Hundreds of copycats have emerged since Wordle skyrocketed to internet fame less than three years ago. Now the Times, which purchased the game in 2022, is sending takedown notices to people behind some of the lookalikes. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom show on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. <laughs> oh, you gonna paint that barn tonight. Oh, down beside the lantern light. Oh, you gonna finish all your chores. Black Bonnie and girls, you make the Amish world go round, y'all. Yeah. Black Bonnie and girls, you make the Amish world go round. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. All day, all night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, good morning, honey. What you doing? Oh, it's this darn coffee maker. It's on the fritz again. Uh, you know I can't start my day without a cup of coffee. Hey, don't worry. I've got just what you need. Really? What is it? It's the new coffee-flavored bubble gum from the Blozooka Gum Company, and it's loaded with caffeine. Here, try a piece. Mmm, this is great. And it tastes like coffee. What's it called? It's called Blow Java. Blow Java? Mmm, <laughs> there's so much flavor. It's like an explosion in my mouth. <laughs> you bet. There's nothing like a blow job of first thing in the morning. <laughs> it's the coffee flavored gum. Blow Java. Blow Java. <laughs> Open wide, stick out your tongue. Blow Java. Blow Java. <laughs> you can chew, but please don't bite. And if you swallow, it's all right. Blow Java. <laughs> blow Java, the coffee flavored bubble gum. Also available in mocha, cappuccino, and our most popular flavor, filatte. <laughs> Honey, I just love Blow Java. I can tell. Look at the size of that wad in your mouth. <laughs> hey, look, <laughs> I'm blowing a bubble. Look, I've got gum all over my face. <laughs> Wait, let me take a picture. There's caffeine in every bite. Blow Java. Blow Java. <laughs> Chew a wad, but not in haste. Sorry about that salty taste. <laughs> <laughs> Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. No matter how hard I try, can't keep my hands off my feet. <laughs> Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. <laughs> Because I'm blind. <laughs> hey, this is Henry Phillips, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Who's this Saturday? Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. There's Hello. Pat Godwin over there in the performance room. Hey, Chick. Hey, there's Josh Arnold. Hello. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Got some road work coming up. We will, of course, be celebrating the opening of uh, Major League Baseball. Cincinnati is the place. And uh, we're doing a special show from uh, Nation Kitchen and Bar at the Bet MGM Sportsbook at the Banks. And the first 200 folks will be let in. It's going to be a great day, of course. And special thanks to 92.5 The Fox. So hope to see you. And uh, that's just around the corner coming up Thursday, March 28th. While I'm at it, on the road with the Bob and Tom Show, we'll be doing the show from Charleston, West Virginia. Looking forward to this, uh, thanks to Rock 105. We're going to be uh, there with Duke Tomato and the Brass to Mouth Horns, 6 o'clock in the morning uh, on April 5th. It's a Friday, and then that evening, a special show. They're both going to be at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. We'll have, uh, let's see, Willie G, Patty G, Josh Arnold, uh, Jeff Oske, and um, I'll be your host along with Christy Lee. I'm scheduled to appear. I'm still waiting to see if that jet is going to be... Uh, oh, oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, really? There you I, go. Look, you want me. That's you, right. Uh, <laughs> you pay the freight. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, we have a, You're damn right. We have a bizarre story coming up 
about the word jet. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. It, very unusual, I think. We'll find out about really? that. Really? Yeah, it's fascinating. That's a scientific study. I know many don't believe in science anymore. But oh, the, this is the story. I have the story. and Yeah, I was going to say, I don't... Uh, it could be the stupidest thing I've ever read. <laughs> No, we're that's a, that's, a lot. that's a high bar. That's a <laughs> lot. You have read a lot. Covers a lot of territory. Yeah. Oof. But yeah. right now we're trying oh. to cover the, uh, the oh. Paris Olympics, mm -hmm. and we've uh, come across a band. Uh, the name of the band is Inspector Cluzo, but a Cluzo spelled C L U Z O. Oh. All right. Inspector Cluzo. Uh huh. And uh, this is called uh, the T I theme or something. I'm not sure, but this is. Uh, got the Olympics. It's it's from France, and uh, it's got a lot of things Tom will like. So that's why we did this. And here it is. Now. They're farmers, I guess, and oh, they, really? just, they just started their own band. And they're Dude, that's good stuff. That they're, pretty, good stuff. Uh, they're pretty successful, I guess. I like so, Christy, is this the one you were talking What's the most popular French song? La Vie en Rose. La Vie en Rose. Oh, sorry. I did this. I forgot about that one. I don't even know Edith what somebody. Is. Oh, yeah. Edith, yeah. You, yeah you, oh, Edith Piaf? Yes, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Played okay. wonderfully by Marion Cotillard in the wonderful movie oh, yeah. La Vie en Rose. And she, oh. uh, she uh, Edith uh, Piaf, also makes a nice rice dish. She does sure she? does. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Oh, rice Piaf? The yeah. San Francisco <laughs> treat? <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Well, speaking, it, speaking, of, speaking of food. Yeah? Uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> We were talking with Tom Papa yesterday, the very fine comedian. Oh, about spread. Ah, bah, 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 and uh, Tom is on tour right now. He uh, is also, of all things, an expert baker, especially in the realm of bread. Yeah. So he's got bread going, and he's, he, he presents bread to his friends, which is so nice. The next time he comes, I hope he brings us a loaf. But I asked him if he'd ever uh, d done the uh, famous dish where you take a slice of bread, take a shot glass, <laughs> cut out the middle, mm. put it on a frying pan, throw an egg in. Have you ever done this for yourself? Isn't son? a shot glass a little too small yeah, too for small. the hole? Wouldn't yeah, it be like a juice glass, glass or a glass or something? Yeah, no, no, you, yeah. The, you, you put the yolk where the hole is, Ace. Well, where's the white you just part though? We well, throw the egg. You don't have to. <clears throat> Could you do something about it? <laughs> <laughs> I've been begging for six months for you to do something, Here's and you won't Pat, do it. You get it. The, Ace, the you take a glass. you take a piece of bread. Right. You put a shot glass right in the middle and right. spin it around right. and cut out the middle. Right, but that's the hole's too small to fit a whole egg in there. Well, not a whole egg. No, but, but the, when you the, the yolk is when what you, goes when you in there. When you drop the egg in there, the white part spreads out. Right, on the bread. On the bread. And the yolk goes oh. in the hole. The yolk lands in the hole. I thought you wanted all of it in the hole. Uh, yeah, that's what I was well, picturing. Yeah. I mean, getting that's all of it in the hole. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. I'm not crazy. It's just too big, right, Tom? Yeah. yeah. You can't get it all in the hole. That's right. Oh, uh, okay. So when I grew up, it was called a, a bookety bookety. So I, God knows why. So it's almost like French toast. Um, yeah, it's a delicious thing. You should try it. Okay, right? I will try it. Pat, I'll, I can show you how to make one for your son. Okay. Um, here, here we go. This is Luke writes, we called it birds in a basket. Sure. Because my kids ask for it all the time. What is it? Turds in a basket? Birds in a basket. Oh, birds in a basket. That's when you use a Cadbury egg. Turds uh, in a basket. Uh, right, right, right. <laughs> Got it. Uh, uh, Lavina writes, my mom always called it a gas house. I've heard that before. Oh, Lavina Rose. And in yeah. Girl Scouts, we called them one-eyed sailors. Oh, I like that. Jeez. Oh, yeah, that yeah. Is, isn't that cool? Racy for Girl Scouts. Yeah, yeah. That does seem a little bit uh, 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 off-brand for the Girl Scouts. Chick and I have gotten some emails, maybe uh, others, uh, toad in a hole. Toad in a hole, yeah. 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 A lot of that, yeah. Um, when I was a kid, uh, it said, and now I make these for my own kids, we call it Humpty Dumpty Bread. 
That makes I like sense. that too. Yeah. I'm going to make these this weekend. People always call it, it also egg in a basket. I can hear the voice of my dad saying, I don't care what you call it, just eat it. Uh. <laughs> That's the Denise in the beautiful Finger Lakes area of New York. So how long do you cook it? Do you cook it till the yolk is all cooked through? No, or? no, 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 no. You want the so-called, uh, the, the yolk, you want it to be... Runny? Yeah, like it's like it's the gravy, if you will, of the egg. Okay. Oh. According to Lynn Rosetta Casper. Okay. Uh, but uh, So it's got lots of cool names. I highly recommend it. It's an easy thing to make. And then also, you've you've got the whole, Ace. Sure. I'll try to make this clear. Let me, let me ask you this, though. I do have a question. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Ace. I was going to say... If you don't, you don't flip because you don't want to break the yolk. That's right. my question. No, you right. flip it. It won't break you the yolk. You do yolk. flip sure, it? Of course. What do you mean it won't break it? You can flip an egg without breaking the yolk. Yeah, of course. I yeah, can yeah, make eggs over easy. easy. Uh, the bread yeah. But in this it. case, yeah. I would think the challenge would be for the bread not to accidentally uh, puncture the yolk. Nope. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Easily done. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you can flip it So over. you do want to, yeah, you cook both sides right. of the bread. Then delightful. Just don't overcook you it. butter the bread? You can. You can. Or you just throw in oil, whatever you want to cook it in. I see. Okay. All right, and, but Ace, I was trying I'll to get to you here because I know how. Um, what's the word I'm looking for, Christy? Ace is uh, thrifty. Yes. No, thrifty. no waste at Ace's house. Right. So you've got that hole. Remember the part that you the, you cut out of the. Thing? Yes. You can also fry that up. Eat it like a little chip. <laughs> like, like Delicious. <laughs> we had like an email saying that they used to take the hole and put it on top of the egg as a top hat. Ah, oh, uh, there you go. Is that right? Yes. Hmm. Well, isn't that clever? Very gentlemanly <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> it's a fun thing to do. Okay. And, and you can also, if you want to get really elaborate, you can take the bread and cut it out and make it look like a Mickey Mouse, whatever you want to do. You put three Boy. eggs in there? Yeah, do whatever you want. Have fun. Life is short. <laughs> Enjoy eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm with the egg lobby out there. You know me, I like real dairy, real eggs. And Tom Papa mentioned yesterday loving bread, just toast with butter, and I'm with him. Me too. I, that is Delicious. one of the best foods ever. Great butter and great bread. <laughs> it's just so awesome. Life simple pleasure. Yeah. Yes. Jam, preserves. Nope. Jelly. Mm -hmm. You know, just not butter. necessary. Sometimes simple, welcome, yeah. yeah. But uh, boy, buttered toast. I boy, am. my friend Olonia gave me this beautiful sourdough starter, and I killed it. I'm embarrassed to tell her. I mean, it's just. I can't do it. I can't make bread. It's, well, maybe it's a full-time job. Mm. They do sell it at stores now. Yes, uh, they do. Uh, no. You just get a loaf of so sourdough bread at the stores? Is yeah. that what you're saying? You get, I get a huh. brown thing, whatever those are called. Well, now, uh, we'll get back to sports. We got an email. It says, uh, Dear Bob and Tom, what did I do yesterday? Well, I got wood, and I listened to the electric Amish, all with the help of my Raycon earbuds. Yes. Mm. This is from Captain Ron in Iowa. The band, he says, sounded buttery. Mm. Speaking of toast and butter, they fit perfect, and the uh, not the band, but my Raycons fit perfect and never fell out, not even once. And a good Amish pun, too, buttery. Thanks for the, yes, thanks for the show yesterday. Raycon has those optimized gel tips that fit every ear ever made. Uh, whether you're out walking the dog or grabbing some firewood, Raycons stay in place. Plus, Raycons have... Eight hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth syncing, 32-hour battery life, and Raycons, we've got a deal for you. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom and get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's 20% off and free shipping. Just go to buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com. Slash Tom. And we'll return with some sporting news. We have a bunch of exciting stuff in the news today, including um, a human limb regeneration, uh -huh. step one. Uh, we have uh, morons that are allowed to fly. Again, I don't know why we don't have gallows at every airport. Uh, and uh, another name for the egg in a basket, the bookity bookity, the, and, and a sh TV show that actually shows it being made. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Yeah, it is. Thanks a lot for joining us here this morning. It is a Wednesday. It is. I can't help but notice, sir, you're wearing extremely tight, um, uh, what are those called? They are called Lycra Spandex Pursuit Pants. Uh, now, is, pursuit? That a, is that a potato in the front there? or uh, <laughs> Tom. Glad to see you. Tom. <laughs> Tom. Tom. Sorry. Is it? <laughs> Looks like Jim and the twins are pretty cozy this morning, sir. <laughs> Hurts to advertise. Yeah, right? I guess it does. Oh my God! <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. He's smuggling <laughs> topsoil for an offshore development project. Well, yeah, I, I always end well, a White Castle. Really? Yeah, I was. Uh, 
God, I was so drunk, I thought I was in McDonald's. I ordered a quarter pounder. I got 500 hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say to you? Help me. Okay, thank you. Pick a number between 1 and 50. We'll ask our guest, then I'll just hit a random sound effect. We'll see if it fits the commercial. All right. 150, Clinton. Pick a number. 35. 35. That's Andy Moore Ford. Uh, 35. Here we go. Heavenly deals. At Andy there you go. <laughs> <laughs> You'll think you've died and gone to pick car another. Heaven. Pick another number. And Andy Moore for uh, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Andy Moore for. Electrifying meals at Andy Moore Ford. <laughs> okay, pick another number. Go ahead, Clint. A any number. Eight. Eight. Okay. Oh Lord. Oh dear. They have body <laughs> shop. Best. They have a body shop. <laughs> Andy Moore Ford. Ford. Any other number? Go ahead. Pick one more. Nineteen. That's. Ah! That's our manager <laughs> screaming at the fabulous deals you'll find. Where is that? At Andy Moore Ford. Okay. This is the Bob and Tom it's show. On, morning. It's Man, I wish I'd lived here today's show. Me too. <laughs> um, um, I wish I was here. Yeah. You know, there's a reason I'd never heard of this band. Why? Because this guy had to have his penis cut off. <laughs> publicity. <laughs> you know, I prefer I prefer musicians who can actually make it on their skill, not on their lack of a dick. <laughs> so. Yikes. I, I knew you'd have I know how to make it in show That's business. That's what I <laughs> Yikes. I know how to make it in show business. First we whip it out, and then we take a cleaver. Mm -hmm. How does he pee? Yeah. Sitting down. <laughs> or all yeah. over the place. Yeah. <laughs> that was the video. Of the no, that's not true, Clint. How does he pee? Depends. <laughs> Okay, oh, never mind. Oh. Sorry, I asked. Hard copy, all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> this exclusive. Dogs die in the cargo hold. Occasionally. Occasionally. And then they just replace them with a dog that looks similar. They got a big. <laughs> they got a big dog farm for these things. Now all the airlines share the same dog. Yeah, uh, Dave. Uh, Dave, we need a Shih Tzu. Uh, uh, brown face, white feet. Uh, we need a, we need a sh Shih Tzu uh, Gate C twenty seven. Uh, it's a number yeah, eight. Yeah. Bring us that and, number eight. Uh, another another newfie uh, coming in. Uh, coming in on United. Try to. Take Take care of that. Yeah, he's stiffer in a board. Come on in. Okay. <laughs> the big danger at this time of year is the heat. If you, you know, they were down there, and if the plane is delayed on the, you know, tarmac for any reason, it can be a problem. Mm -hmm. so, mm. That was just a story this week that came out. Do the People right thing. Drive your dog. Warning Jeez. folks that are flying their dogs about that. There you go. I ain't making this up. And if it's a small dog, like a little tiny little hand dog. Yeah, you can put it underneath your seat. No, just throw it out the window because those aren't real dogs. <laughs> <laughs> those aren't real dogs. This is cool. You know, I like doing radio. How can you change a dinosaur's name? I don't know. Yeah, halfway through. You know halfway the, through. <laughs> do you know what the smallest dinosaur was? Uh, what? The clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> a little red, <laughs> pinkish dinosaur. Well, congratulations. Wow. You, you finally got it, got it on the air. Yeah. It, congratulations. Way to go. <laughs> See, all that, all that filthy lunch talk, and now it's on the air. Are you happy now? <laughs> little tiny. Are you a big man saying uh, clitoris? Is that it? <laughs> See, I always thought the, I thought the smallest one was the lick a lot of puss. <laughs> hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guests. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right, it all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, or if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th, that's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale now, and they're going fast. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! on to the internet here. <laughs> wonder if it could be two pieces of chicken. wonder if that could be it. I wonder, wonder if you could have figured that out. You sat in a honey pot like Pooh Bear and think, 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 think. <laughs> Fired. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
the sign said anybody <laughs> caught trespassing <laughs> will be shot on sight. So I jumped over the fence and yelled at the house, Hey, what gives me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Frank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome back. To the Bob and Tom Show. Hello. Chris and I was talking about my new investment. I'm, uh -huh. I'm buying uh, white canes on a corner of the market for all the idiots <laughs> that try to look at the eclipse without the glasses. Why does it make you go blind? I don't understand. Oh, it just burns the inside of your eye out. Because you're, um, you're staring at the sun too long is really oh, what it is. Oh, okay. But I used to think as a kid, they never they never explained that. Right. They would just go, don't look at it, you'll go blind. Right. I thought it was like... Well, how could it not be the sun causing you to go blind? Of course it is. What, yeah, I but thought, are you an idiot? I thought the be... combination yeah. caused like a flash. Right. Of course not. It's it's the cor gonna... I was a child. You stupid piece of... <laughs> uh, but the eclipse sounds just like my teacher. covers so, um, the sun, so you don't... There's if no you're gonna, if, if the, when the eclipse comes, there'll be a lot of uh, special gonna... glasses out there. Just make sure you get the real ones. I'm not gonna look at. I think it. there's some unscrupulous folks. <laughs> there's somewhere in China making. <laughs> we call them. You go blind. Uh, <laughs> I, I uh, I'm going to ignore the eclipse this year. Are you? I'm anti-eclipse. Stay where you're supposed to be. Moon and sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I say build a wall. <laughs> That is such a crazy, <laughs> crazy stance. Keep them separated. <laughs> you, you have no idea how any of this works, do you, sir? No, I don't, but I don't like it. <laughs> Listen to this. What? Apparently, we've been talking uh, ad nauseum about... Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Delicious <What's> breakfast <laughs> food. Shut up. Uh, this is from Benjamin. If Tom mentions eggs in a basket one more time, I'm going to drive my car off the road. Oh, poor Sorry. Benjamin. Sorry, Benjamin. We have more to say about it. Uh, dear pussies, it says. Good Lord. I usually don't side with Tom, but he's correct. A shot glass perfect to cut the hole in the bread, dot, dot, dot. That's very divisive. Well, yes. Tom kept talking, which ruined everything as he normally does. It's best to make the bread nice and crunchy and cover it in syrup. Kind oh, of a French whoa, toast whoa, 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 wait a minute. Now. Kind of a French toast thing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That is an excellent that's idea. That's sweet and savory, but oh, yeah, boy, no. that is an excellent There's idea. There's another idea where you put uh, shredded uh, Rajan, some kind of Italian cheese. Oh, she cheese. was going to be pretentious with the cheese name. And you put the bread on there. And then flip it, put but more cheese on the top and flip the it. The big controversy oh. is the big controversy. Is the size of the hole. The size in of the, the bread. hole. Right. Almost everyone puts the whole egg in there. The majority the seem to. No, that's they're doing it wrong. I'm, well, they're doing it their way. <laughs> I, that's the wonder of that's, 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 that's Josh, the their way is wrong. I can we can go through the whole <laughs> we go through the history of the world and find uh, cultures that do something the wrong way until they finally just disappear. The Shakers, for example. They decided the, uh, <laughs> their civilization decided that sex was wrong. You know what happened to them? No they died shakers. out. You know why? Hmm. Uh, no nookie, no washy, uh, as, uh, as they say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, You're doubling down. <laughs> yeah, okay, good job. My, my recipe was piece of bread, shot glass. You take the shot glass, put it down, squeeze it around. You got a hole. I don't have The egg drops in there. The yolk sits in there, and the white part of the egg well, goes around the sides. Benny's I, in the creek, isn't he? But I like the, the idea. Of, oh, yeah, he drove <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like the crunchy idea and a little bit of cheese. These are all excellent mm -hmm. ideas, but you don't want to overcook it. You want that gravy, if you will, from the yolk to spread around. Right. This... By the way, this guy calls it a bullseye. And then he goes, I'm watching the TV show Resident Alien in episode two. I'm sorry, season two, episode 15. They show someone making one. Oh, no kidding. I love that show. I love that show, too. He also goes, I love it when you guys talk about medical stuff. He, this person is a medical professional. Oh, thank you, Tim. He goes, I love the way you fumble around medical stuff like teenagers having sex. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well put, but, but the problem is we don't want to, we know so much about it that it's easy to talk down to the audience and we're uh, trying not to yeah, do Yeah, that. that's it. Sure, of course. <laughs> yes. Tom, I think you'll like this idea. And Chick, there's something in here for you as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thomas writes in, in this whole egg in the bread thing. They call it an egg in a hat. Oh, which I, I, like, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Now, what he does with the circle that's cut out, toasts it, butters it, and sprinkles it with sugar and cinnamon. Oh, so you yeah. have your savory there, yeah. and you get your uh, sugar. These are all excellent ideas. They, they sure are. So uh, this could be, could be our whole show, but we're done. With Another that. TV show that mentioned this. When, I, when we were younger, Bozo the Clown made these <laughs> on his show once. He did? Yes. And he used a juice glass, not a shot glass. Yes, because that would make more sense. So what do you say to Bozo? He's a Bozo by definition. <laughs> it's his name, for God's sake. No, if you use a whole glass, you're losing half the bread, and then you're not getting the white part spreading out. The white part's... Hmm. Much I like if you're arguing like about this, the white you part might want to look at the world today and... 
The white part spreading out much like the history of this country. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. you call it, some people call it egg in a hat, some people call it white flight. <laughs> or colonization. <laughs> oh, I see. You were going even wider, yeah. Yes, I know, even, even more awful. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's time now to get to our... You're in large trouble. That's <laughs> <laughs> been a rough hey, one. Look, and I'm going right there with no them. One can, no one can take a joke anymore. I'm tired of it, okay? Calm down. We're going to be okay. Well, don't take us with you. Okay? okay, that's all right. What do you got over there? Uh, <laughs> we haven't even gotten to the Paris story yet, have we? Uh, no, oh, no, we did. Sorry, Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson and Peyton Manning are going to make love uh, or something. Alaska's annual Iditarod... Dog sled race has ended with a victory for the ages. One of the biggest names in the sport came from behind after that moose attack to win the grueling days-long contest for an unprecedented sixth time. Wow. That's right. Dallas Seavey's record-setting win late last night overshadowed by the deaths of three dogs mm. in this year's uh, endurance race across the Alaska wilderness. A fourth dog, one of Seavey's, severely injured by a moose on the trail. Mm. And it has renewed calls from animal rights groups to stop the race because of the problems with the puppy dogs. Uh, the race, a thousand miles of wilderness, uh, two mountain ranges, uh, the Yukon River, and a slice of the frozen Bering Sea. What about wow. the dead moose? No Before moves. ending just south of the Arctic Circle. The moose started it. Oh, yeah, moose. Yeah, the moose did yeah, start it. You're moose right. is going to moose. It was just moosing. And did the fandango. And then the next thing, there was dog food. So wait a minute, how does the, can, you, can you explain the, the Fandango reference? <laughs> Gar yeah, Scaramouche, the, the moose. Oh, there's a moose, there's a moose? The the moose, the, the moose, can you do the Fandango? It's a martini, there's vermouth and there's... Oh. Yes. Wow, but, yeah, that was a great story. The guy yeah, took out a pistol, took care of, it. Took care of the moose. And then he, they were going to eat it, And he got it on the trail. Yeah. Yeah, they make sure they honor their they prey, if you will. Mm -hmm. He reduced it to uh, mush. <laughs> That's your, your sledding. Yeah. <laughs> it's a double meaning, you see. You got your edible mush, then you got your mush. mush. Yeah, corn meal, but do they actually say the word mush? Moose and mush. I think so. I think they go. It means go or. Oh, is that what the? Okay. Uh, I've watched a documentary about training sled dogs for a sled dog race. Believe it or not, uh, mm. they say like for um, continue on is haw ha. They yell haw a lot, and the oh. dogs will keep running ha. Ha. And then they say, uh, they do say mush when they start. Mush, I think. I mean, it's amazing yeah. how far they go. I understand animal rights activists being concerned uh, slightly, but don't these dogs, Chicken, did the documentary touch on this? They they like this. They, oh, yeah, they, they go nuts. Like, yeah, this is what the dogs do. are, yeah. This they, is what they do. They're and, bred for it. It's right. in their blood. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they're not miserable. Of course, when there are accidents, it's bad, but, but they're not living a bad life. No. No, certainly not. Yeah. And the Not moose like was just, as you said, moosing it. Yeah, he was just moosing, doing what moose do. Anybody ever been to Moose and E? <laughs> guess I'm the only one. I did see a video of him. Let me guess, that's in Michigan? No, 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 Moose and E, you go north. Oh, okay. It's north! A, to Moose and E. Is that I mean, Canada? I, well, yeah, it's north, north from Michigan? Yeah. Okay. Take a train up there with your canoe and... Uh, Is it Wisconsin? Take a train. No, no, it's train in Canada. Canada. Moose and E. Oh, okay. Great yeah, oh, yeah, you got to get a... You gotta buy an extra seat for your canoe. <laughs> Did you see moose? Take a train moose with your canoe. I, 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 Take a train with your canoe. Did you just say that? <laughs> yeah, Pat picked it up, and then we all went, "Oh yeah, what, yeah we, an odd took, Where the hell did you put the took, canoe? Took canoe up. Is that in the overhead? You put your canoe in the overhead. <laughs> 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 the going back. Hey, right? merry weather. You want to save some room for us? <laughs> I don't want to travel, and uh, I have to take a boat with me. <laughs> Are you kidding? When the what? That, that's the greatest thing. You, you get in a canoe. You do. We saw a bear and moose. It was back great. at everybody's oh, head. Then you took the way. canoe all the way back. You didn't take the train, or what? Well, you can tip a canoe and <laughs> Tyler too. Yeah, Tyler too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all the way to Tyler, Texas. Back Ace, what base. were you about to say? I, I'm, I'm fascinated. No, I saw a clip the guy crossing the finish line, and his dogs wearing these blue booties. Oh, yeah. There you go. Well, tell me that wasn't worth it. <laughs> Ace? Went back and got it. What well, do you, you want them to be? No, Ace is, I just saw this in uh, Vail, Colorado. The people walking their dogs with little boots on when it was cold that one morning. Those are all made by Nike. Did you know that? Yeah, hilarious. Really? Who believes me? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, wait a, wait you know, a for backtrack. A sec, for a second, I believed you. It's, I know. It's mm. actually probably someone more lofty that makes it. It's so funny seeing a dog walk by with little shoes on. Yeah. So, Keep uh, their paws warm. Daw. Sure. Little, little, little feller. Uh, now, um, mine likes to eat the ice out of her feet when she goes out in the snow. Oh, oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shoes on her feet. Toe sickles. Toe sickles. Oh, I've always wanted to go to the Iditarod. I, I'm fascinated by it. Is that right? 
The name the name reminds me of one of those uh, <laughs> sort of fifties uh, era songs, you know, like Papa U Mama or I Did a Rod or kind of that, that, that uh, <laughs> non sort of not meaningless syllabic, but it bop 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 kind of things. I did a rod, I did a rod, yeah. I did a rod, I did a rod, I did a rod, I did a rod, a Papa U Mama. Yeah, there you go. See, mm. what about now, Dave Matthews, uh, Pat? You could do. I did a rod, I did a rod. I did a rod. Do you think <laughs> I've got to do <laughs> more? <laughs> They apparently wear the booties to prevent abrasions from ice crystals in the formation of clumps of snow in between their toes. Well, of course. Yeah. Why else would they wear them? Yeah. Dog shoes. Peer pressure? <laughs> oh, look at this. They wear dog. jackets, well, light-colored like... windbreakers, T-shirts, is there Is there a lot of uh, product placement? Uh, hmm. It doesn't look I mean, like it. It would be really smart if, say, ad if smart. Adidas supplied the dog shoes and had, the th had their logo on it and the three stripes. Uh, but, uh, well, I'm sorry. Let's get back to the sports page. What else you got? New research. Stand by. There has to be music for the awful, awful stories he gives me. <laughs> <laughs> and this isn't a world record. This is just an awful, awful story that I don't know how caught is on. You have... Uh you have Juice Newton or Susie Quattro over there that you could no, don't, don't, a little don't, payback. Don't, don't ruin my yeah, day. Uh, if you're going to ruin Chick's day, he gets to ruin yours. Uh, I don't. you have any of those? Uh, oh, yeah. Our love is a lie. There you go. There you can play go. this every time you have a story that you feel is awful. So New research <laughs> indicates that hearing certain words can make you run faster. What? Yeah, yeah. I can tell you a couple. Uh, police? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got Lion. a gun. I got a gun. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, I think yeah. The cops are chasing yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Cheetah. Duh. Uh, for the study, it says here, elite young athletes were given different directions before undertaking sprint drills. Researchers at the University of Essex found that telling runners to push the ground away achieved better results than driving their legs into the ground. That makes perfect sense. That kind what? of motivation, because you can mentally picture. All right, I, 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 that work, that kind of stuff works for me. Why would, why wouldn't they Hang say on. you're being chased by a bear or something? Wouldn't that make you run faster? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> telling runners to sprint, quote, like a jet plane taking off, ah. close quote, appeared to produce the best result. That doesn't work for me, but uh, do you make the noises? I got face. <laughs> 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 That's your jet sound? Hearing these hey, you know, evocative... My, my, my jet sound is, is a work in progress. Okay? <laughs> Hearing these uh, analogies appeared to instantly boost speed by 3% over by uh, three percent over 65 feet of distance. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> my music teacher did a similar thing, and so this is why I like this kind of visualization. Okay. I was trying to reach a high note, mm -hmm. and he goes, and I couldn't... I, I, did I was, he say free hot dogs? <laughs> And of Whoa. course, he said, "You get free hot dogs if you can reach it." And I sang like Pavarotti. It was just, I just and I ate hot dogs like Pavarotti. It was uh, very. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did he say? I, if only you were sorry. <laughs> Look, your face you, is red. You terrible monster. <laughs> Bully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I, really, I, I, he, he I, take gives, it, I take it back. He calls uncle. <laughs> and the, my teacher said, don't try to raise up to the... You, a helicopter doesn't la uh, doesn't rise to hit the, the, the landing spot. The helicopter comes down on it. So picture a helicopter landing on the perfect note. And I know that sounds crazy, but it totally worked for me. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Hmm. So now I don't go... Oh, I go... Oh, and isn't that nice. lovely? Does that, that work? Lovely. Does that work for you in the bedroom? It does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I go. A helicopter doesn't. We. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard sure. to the vagina. It, it uh, <laughs> lands right on it. And, uh, geez, I've never had a woman complain. <laughs> <laughs> May I go back to the Iditarod for a second? No. Okay. What have you got about the Iditarod? <laughs> well, I was fascinated by the dogs wearing those booties, so oh, I looked God. up the dog equipment, and they have a little belly ruff, they call it, to keep their testicles from freezing. They wrap this wool or fur around their, they tie it around on the back to so keep their all N Makes warm sense. and nutted up. <laughs> nutted up. Nutted up. Yeah. Yeah. I googled dog booty and 
Mm. It is the sickest <laughs> porn you've ever seen. <laughs> it's booties. I think it was yeah, that. I should have gone. Uh, do, do they have, are there logo things on the dogs? No. Really? No, but their feet are or uh, should frostbite be. resistance, but apparently the testicles really aren't. So you think they, the dog food companies would be all over I'm this. sure there might be, but not on this particular story that I'm... Even the nudicles right. people that make those fake testicles for dogs should provide the, uh, what, do they, what, do they call it? what do they call it, the 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 doggy skirt? What is it? Uh, well, oh, there is oh, a the brand of jacket for rough. dogs who uh, oh, yeah? who run the idea. Uh, Jack London Fog. <laughs> <laughs> Was that, cute? was that cute? Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's very good. Oh, they do get little... Um... <laughs> I've spoken enough that I'm done, I think. <laughs> uh, but I was got you literary. Uh, very nice. The Unfunny. dogs do get like little flower lays around their necks. <laughs> when they... <laughs> when they win. The, oh, when Look they at those win. good pups. Aww. I also love How huskies. How cute is that? Yeah, we only lost three this year. Oh. I know. Yeah. <sighs> okay. But they were old. <laughs> 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 or they died doing what they love. Being whipped while running. <laughs> you know, they get them motivated. Oh, they, gosh. They, they, they tell them free hot dogs. On the final mile. Get those free hot dogs. Yeah, the free hot dogs. Uh, so, this is a fascinating uh, study here. here you're, you're, you're poo pooing it. The, 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 they get, no, the, it's, it's, it's about motivation. It all makes sense. I don't know how you found it, is what I have a lot of trouble with. Be amazed uh, the stuff that we find out there. Uh, it's a lot better than everything Awful. else in the news these days. Awful. Uh, now, um, uh, what's uh, coming up? Uh, world record coming up, Tom. Okay, all right. Uh, and I'll remind everybody that uh, we're going to be doing this show live. For, and we oh, we've got we've got a couple really cool surprises, by the way. Very excited about this. We're going to be in uh, uh, Cincinnati. For opening day. Was you offer in Cincinnati? Thursday, March 28th. Uh, special location this year, starting at uh, 6 o'clock uh, Eastern Daylight Time. We will be at Nation Kitchen and Bar at the Bet MGM Sportsbook at the Banks. Right there by the front gate of the Great American Ballpark. And admission is free. We'll uh, let the first 200 people in. Bring us food and gifts. Uh, you don't have to bring us anything. You Just uh, bring us your buns. Just bring us uh, food and uh, gifts. Uh, thank you very much, 92.5 <laughs> The Fox, Cincinnati. Also, about a week later, Friday, April 5th, it's Rock 105 presents us. We're going to be at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center in the morning. We'll have Duke Tomato and the Brass to Mouth Horns. And uh, it's going to be a great time. That evening, a special live comedy show. Willie G, Patty G, Joshy, yours truly, Christy, and Jeff Oskey. So it's going to be a killer show. And we will be accepting food and gifts. Oh, we yes, will not be accepting course. food and gifts. Please don't do this. You're ruining my life. <laughs> uh, now, uh, we'll be uh, back shortly. Um, anything else you want to plug? What, what do you got coming up, Christy Lee? Uh, coming up, we still have that naked guy out on the beach in Florida, which uh, is... It's, it's, and it's much more than a naked guy on the beach. Yeah, it's really something. How could you need any more than that? Well, wait till you hear what he's got. Uh, the presentation is quite elaborate. <laughs> okay. Put it that way. And we have a very interesting uh, story from the lakes in Illinois where scuba divers are finding a very interesting object. Oh. Over and over again. Loch Ness Monster. Hundreds. Oh, my. Hundreds yeah. of Loch Ness That's a weird oh, yeah. no. Hundreds of them. Okay. Hundreds. Uh, the, now, Loch Ness, ba with Loch Ness babies. <laughs> and and Patty, Patty G, you got a song for us, I understand. Sure. I said, but if you ever want to talk to Marilyn Monroe, we got that coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh 
me the real Josh from the Bob and Tom show sent you. We have uh, the young Shane Moss, uh, comedian from uh, Wisconsin, yep. now living in Boston. Yeah, I got the uh, ghost of Christmas future. Uh, there you go. Right next to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah, too yeah, late, yeah. is it? I can still, <laughs> I can still change. <laughs> you can. No. Turns out it is too late. Oh, yes, uh, you. Now, you mentioned that your uh, girlfriend is a veterinarian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, did you have any normal jobs uh, prior to this comedy? Thing? Um, yeah, I had. Uh, I, I did a lot of manual labor type stuff. I, I worked in a factory for a few years. Worked construction. The worst thing that I ever did was. Um, I, I was a temp laborer, yeah, um, which was just an awful, awful job. And there's like no health insurance, no, or, or anything with it. There's just workman's compensation. So anytime I need to seek medical attention, it need to be a work-related thing. You know, I'd have to call right. up my boss and be like, "Yeah, I don't know. I better go and see a doctor." It's just yesterday. I think I was just picking up a little bit too much weight. And I think I might have gotten herpes. <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah. yeah, I better have that checked. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's, uh, it's insane all the things you have to worry about. These, it, it, like, I remember when I was in grade school, and, you know, I'm, I'm not that old, but it just it, 20 years ago in, in grade school, the biggest concern was don't share hats, you might get lice. Oh. Yeah. They're much more serious now. Like, mm -hmm. don't share needles. You might get AIDS. <laughs> yeah. Well, at Come least on. you can share hats again. Who <laughs> 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 cares about life? Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, how true. Uh, I see. I see. Uh, Shane Moss is, is our guest. We've talked about the fact that you drive all over the place. Yeah. But let I, me ask you this. We've. Uh, this is one of my favorite topics. Uh, uh, kind of an inside showbiz thing. But uh, every once in a while, you get what's termed a hell gig. Yeah, maybe yeah. you're on stage and uh, you're in a small club or a bar. And they've got a TV on over here. There's a pool game going on. People aren't paying attention. Do you have any great hell gig stories? Um, well, uh, I, I have a few, and um, uh, Let's hear I'll, I'll tell one anyway. And then if we have time for more, that's uh, cool. Um, uh, I'll start. I'll combine uh, cars and a hell gig. How's that? Uh -huh. um, I uh, I was in Detroit. Uh, recently, and, and this actually wasn't a hell gig at all. It's just kind of my fault. I made a little mistake. Detroit's kind of a li little bit dangerous. It's actually ranked the most dangerous big city mm -hmm. in the country. And if you remind them of that, they will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or try. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I let it slip on stage that I drive a Hyundai. Oh, uh, which is a sin uh -huh. there. And I yeah. had to explain to him, I was like, listen, you know, I'm all for supporting American made products. I don't want anyone in Detroit to lose their job or anything. It's just that if I'm driving through Detroit, I want the most reliable vehicle possible. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, wow. That uh, didn't go over very well. Uh, <laughs> A cute little C and a big C or just two big C? It's a little C and then a big C. Okay, then. And your first name? Well, it, it's Paul. Paul McCartney. Okay, Mr. McCartney. And are you here with the group? Not anymore. Oblivious. <laughs> this is the set for the unaware. You know, one of the most meaningful things that's happened to me since I've been the, gov uh, the president, governor, president... Oops. Oblivious. <laughs> this is the set for the intellectually absent. Good morning, sports fans. <laughs> Good morning, Chick. What do you have for us today? Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, I've got nothing. Great. Oblivious. <laughs> There's an old saying in Tennessee. I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once. Shame on, shame on you. <laughs> It fooled me. We can't get fooled again. Oblivious. <laughs> Oblivious perfume is available at fine retail outlets everywhere. In fact, it's probably right in front of you and you didn't even notice. Oblivious. You know, it'll take time to restore chaos, but we will. Oblivious. <laughs> Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you are listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Vegetarians always <laughs> want to force feed you their Food, of mm -hmm. course. I mean, the Garden Burger. 
The Garden Burger, it tastes just like a hamburger. No, it doesn't. A Garden Burger is to hamburger what a post-op transvestite is to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it looks something like it, but one whiff will tell you that's not tuna fish, it's cat food, and it's not fit for human consumption. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> when grandfather dies, life will be strange. When grandfather dies, my whole world will change. When grandfather dies, I'll scream and I'll yell. Cause I'll be rich as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I figured That's I didn't need to write anymore. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Yeah! This is Bob and Tom. Oil. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It is the Bob and Tom Show. I hope you didn't miss our cooking hunk. About, <laughs> I don't know how you could have. Toad in a hole and uh, the egg in the middle of a piece of toast. And oh, we were just, it's a, it's a classic and the recipe. And the kids love it. it. With the size yeah. of the hole. I hope kids you didn't love miss it. that. Next week, Jess will be cooking both variations. And yeah, here we go. We'll have Jess cook it. I, 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 I got to weigh in with two more, Chick. I'm sorry. Then I'll be done with this. Mary, kind enough to write us, has said she says that no, this is once again a piece of a piece of bread. Oh God! Shot glass. You take the bread out the middle, start frying it up, and the yolk sits in the middle. Her grandmother called it an Eisenhower. Oh, huh? Eisenhower. I guess maybe because of the looks like a bald head. I don't know. That's all I can think. That is so weird. I like yeah. those though. Um, mm. and then That's one because uh, Eisenhower wore uh, an eye patch. Is that yeah, it? for most of his life? For most yeah. of his life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that motion. Uh, never mind. Um, oh, is I? I'm pretty sure it was Eisenhower. Yeah, and then That's why they a, called him Eyes and How. Eyes and How. German is uh, is one eye. This one's yeah. too. This one's too offensive to mention what they. Oh really? What they called it. And why is that stopping you now? No, no, no. After what you've covered this morning, <laughs> we've had a bevy of accents. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> multiple accents. A lot of, a lot of accents. Uh, uh, a lot of character work. Uh, a lot of character work is what we a, like to a call a startling it. amount. Yeah, yeah. Some would say, "What the hell?" But not me. I think uh, I'll make some of these this weekend. That okay, sounds nice. Okay, okay. Then. Why uh, don't you go do that? Uh, I'll um tell you the proper <laughs> recipe. Now, um, where were? Are we still in sports? Could we? <laughs> yes, yes, we are. Stupid world record. Are you ready? I suppose. Yeah. An 85-year-old golfer. Yeah. Right away, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Holds the Guinness World Record for the most time shooting his age or lower. <laughs> okay. And according to Golf Digest, Mike Barber first broke the record in April. With a count of 1,140 times. You know, this is one of those things that, as you get older, yeah. this gets easier. Yeah, it's, yeah, this is very unusual. <laughs> How many things? I mean, this is like, what else gets easier as you get older besides, I don't know, like having diarrhea in your pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is easier than it used to be. <laughs> but what? as of last month, uh, Mike has shot his age or lower a total of 1,266 times. Allegedly. Mr. Barber accomplished the feat for the first time when he was 70 years old. Wow. Well, because if you were 40, you could really only do it playing miniature golf. I'd... <laughs> well, I shot a 40. Really? <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> he reached 100 rounds, <laughs> of his a 100 rounds of his age uh, or better by age 76. Trombones in the marching band. At 83, he shot his age 199 <laughs> times. The most he has done... Uh, done it in one year. How old is he now? He's 85. Uh, and this is especially difficult because his kids don't let him drive. <laughs> well, it's hard to golf when you <laughs> can't drive. Yeah, you can't drive. Yeah, yeah, well, you really can't yeah, right, right, there, right there in the tee with a putter. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Well, that's, uh, yeah. Isn't that something? Good that's him. a great story. Good for him. Yeah. Seems Seems like there. Probably had, Sweet. Probably a... You know, great American out there. He's retired, playing some golf, having some fun. Yeah. I'm a monster. <laughs> I play golf to me. I don't know who came up with this. Well, I, I beat my age. Yes. Oh, good, uh, good job. 
<laughs> Way to go. That's great. Terry. I can barely yeah. do that in bowling. See, at the 19th. Uh, <laughs> 19th. <laughs> Not a good bowler, you see. Got Not the, a very good got, got the bad arm, you know. Are you guys still doing the bowling afternoon thing? It's been a while, but we're, we'll get back into it. What time do you play? We were doing 2 p.m. What day? Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Can't make it, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, no one... No one that was talking about bowling. No one was talking about inviting him. No one. Oh, you can't make it. And he. Uh, you want to know why we picked Wednesday at two p.m.? <laughs> <laughs> you knew I'd be at the gym with my trainer. And, okay, thank you. Uh, well, that, that's exciting, fun news. Is that is that the end of our sporting? News? That is the end. Shouldn't it be? I found some uh, good Olympic news. Oh, you did. Music, music, music. I'm sorry. Yeah. France at all. Is this the French version of the Bonanza? Western. Music. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> it's just stupid Western music. I, From where? I, I, here's what you want to have for France. He hit the wrong button. He hit the wrong button. Yeah. And that's sports. He hit the wrong damn button. <laughs> and none of us noticed because it happened so often. <laughs> and he's so disjointed. Would this make you, would this make you feel better? This will make you feel better. <laughs> Your favorite thing. All things Britain. This is uh, Britannia, right? Don't you love this? This is the movies where they oh they cut to James Bond and that said that plays <laughs> and he's just saved the world. This is from Clayton. It's uh, an email to Tom. Uh, I have a new recipe for you. Oh no! Take your bread, egg, and make a little circle in the bread, and then fold it all up nice and neat, and shove it up your. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would expect. I would expect. I would expect nothing more. I'm from sorry, you that guys seem behind in blatant hostility. That's why, I, <laughs> that's why I sent you this email. Well, thank you, Clayton. I appreciate that. Oh, time to check in with the news desk and Christy Lee. What have you got over there? Police in Florida arrested a naked guy who is allegedly holding a sign soliciting a sexual encounter. Hmm. Police say they found the 60-year-old suspect, a Mr. Leighton Paul Nauman, on a pathway near the clothing-optional Blind Creek Beach following complaints of lewd behavior. An officer encountered the man, quote, reclined back in a chair completely nude with a tan hat over his face and his penis completely exposed, the officer made special note that the man's penis, quote, its neighboring scrotum and testicles stuffed into metal rings. What? The I love main... the term neighboring scrotum. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, because if it's really not a neighbor, it gets better. that's going to be, uh, if your scrotum's across town, it's been a very serious accident. It gets better. All right. The main ring was tethered to a metal chair that extended between the subject's legs to a stick metal that chain. was shoved. Oh, chain rather, a stick that was shoved into the ground. You following here, Nick? So he's like uh, he's tethered, tethered to the ground by his right. male his male member has a ring on it, right? Yeah. and it's tethered to a stick, but yes. he's by a chain. Yes, he's kind of set this up himself, though. So yes, yeah. really, a yeah, very elaborate display. At a the prisoner, base but... of the stick was a note. That read, yes. hello, please feel free to investigate gently. <laughs> Authorities arrested the 60-year-old for indecent exposure. Just baffling. Talk about a specific fetish. As Bill Engvall said, what's your sign? Oh, uh, well, it's uh, explore my genitals gently, please. Uh, wow. I mean, look, he's offering it. If you don't, if you don't care to partake, you, you walk on by, don't That's you? That's right. It was a new beach, too, right? It was near... The oh, clothing optional Blind near, Creek Beach. That makes but even problem. then, if it's clothing optional, you're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to have a sign that just says, "Hey, you want to do it?" Yeah, he didn't. Do no. it. Why not? That can't be He's against doing the law. It's lewd behavior. Hey, would you like to do it? <laughs> that can't be against the law. To have a sign. If I wore a sandwich board. <laughs> that just said "sex?" Question mark. And you were completely uh -huh. naked with your penis out. No. Yes. That not, would well, be illegal. Okay, I see. That's illegal because he's right. not actually on the nude beach. And he's so that'd be like a, like a portable glory hole. In a way, you could have the sandwich board and oh, <laughs> yes. oh there you go. right through there with a hole there in front. Stand right there at the, the corner where that lady's always begging for money. Oh, uh, I like glory holes, but uh, I like to be able to see you still too. <laughs> so I can. I mean, this is quite an elaborate setup. Yeah, it is. He had rings on both parts. Yeah. Not the, the neighboring, the neighboring scrotum, the yeah. tubing, and the yeah. Yeah, 
I love the fact that he had a tan hat covering his face. Well, what is that? Didn't want burnt? shy. <laughs> so he looks, so he looks <laughs> nude. Concerned about the something. distance. Okay. Well, okay. Wow. Um, I, I wish there was a picture of the sign. Oh, I bet I can find one. I wonder if it's got like a winky face or something sweet. Hmm. Um, <laughs> oh, here's his mugshot. He looks quite sunburned. Oh, uh, does oh he? he's out there a while. Huh? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Oh, what's coming up, Christy Lee? Uh, coming up, we have a lady who's pretty much ruined her child's life by giving her a name that is just unbelievable. We have a sweet story about a World War II veteran getting married. Now? 80, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. 80 years after D-Day, the 100-year-old man is getting married <laughs> in Normandy. Wow. Yeah. And LSD in the news today. Mm. In a good way. Actually. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. Okay, thanks, Christy. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll-free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1 or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, we were talking about uh, racial stereotyping because uh, you're, you're a golfer. Yes. And I know that... Um, we were talking about golf off the air, but uh, a lot of stereotypes in, in the in the world. Certainly, one of them about Asians in sports, and I think that's uh, really now uh, really being changed, particularly in the world of uh, baseball, baseball, oh, right. basketball. Mm -hmm. It's hu huge changes. It's great. Fifteen twenty years ago, you didn't really see that as much. It's great. I love seeing Asians in sports, and and yeah, as you said, Major League Baseball, the real sports. You mm -hmm. know, we're not talking ping pong or <laughs> pie gal poker or <laughs> base juggling with your feet or really hard Sudoku problems yeah. or competitive hot dog eating uh, or breaking ice blocks with your forehead or <laughs> dancing back up for Gwen Stefani, the, yeah. the real sports. <laughs> That's great because before, if I wanted to cheer for Asians in sports, the people I had was uh, Michelle Kwan and half a Tiger Woods. That's, <laughs> yeah, that, that was it. it. That was That's, it. That's it. Wow. And, and you know what, like, Tiger, let's, <laughs> let's talk about him. You know, I don't know which... Half of Tiger made him want to cheat, but uh, I think we can all agree which half drove into the tree. So, People were taking the chicken from Chick Fil A and putting it on Cheddar Bay biscuits. Josh is leaving right now. Josh is leaving. Okay, let's go. Greatest day of my life. That NFL quarterback Aaron Rodgers and former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura at the top of his list. Stephanie Spear, a campaign spokesperson, confirmed the Times report and said there's other names on Kennedy's shortlist. He's focused on getting access to the ballot across the country. Many states require him to name a running mate before he can begin the process of even qualifying for a state ballot. And that's a look at things you may have missed. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. <laughs> oh, you know to paint that barn tonight. Oh, down beside the lantern light. Show your choice, black, and girls, you make the Amish world go round, y'all. Yeah. Black, and girls, you make the Amish world go round. Bob.
Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Time now for Bob and Tom Super Bowl Trivia. The game of football we are familiar with today has changed somewhat from the original version invented in the mid-19th century. With roots in rugby and soccer, the game used an odd egg-shaped ball made from a pig's bladder. Several Ivy League colleges had teams that competed and eventually professional clubs were formed. In one of the most violent and famous games in history, the Redskins soundly defeated the Cowboys on the field at Little Bighorn Stadium in Montana. <laughs> the quarterback, uh, George Costa, was not available for Fixed comment it. after the game. This has been Bob and Tom Super Bowl Trivia. Hi, this is Mike McRae, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. State of California. Mm-hmm is uh, apparently they're in the process, I guess, of banning the Mylar balloons, they're yes. called, yes. the small ones. The silver the ones. Passed silver in the ones. Senate, it's on its way. Because apparently these Senate. balloons cause massive power outages. I can see it's an important, serious business. Mm-hmm. But when, in the course of learning about this, we found out there actually is a group called the Balloon Council. Yeah. This is someone's job, someone's life. They have to take it seriously. I'm sure there are a lot of issues with balloons. Oh, I'm sure. Nothing to laugh at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a serious organization. Oh, absolutely. Dear Bob and Tom, mm-hmm. writes Gary. Gary! I want to know what every other American wants to know. What is the Balloon Council doing about inflation? Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Gary, Gary. thank Gary. you for your letter. <laughs> oh. Can I say something about driving on the highway, first of all? Sure, yeah. People got to focus. It's scary out there. Amen. Mm-hmm. I was on the highway. A guy next to me is texting while he's driving. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like, look at this son of a... And then I hit a car. <laughs> <laughs> So I think wow, he won. it's dangerous. I think he won that round. Uh-huh. <laughs> Game, set, match. Yeah. Accident next to me, LOL. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> OMG. Uh-huh. You can text and drive. WTF. No, I see it all the time. I can barely see the I've letters yeah. anyway. I, I, drove by a la- I told you this. I drove by a lady with a book open on her steering wheel. Reading. And eating a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, wait a minute. You know what? Mm, oh my pizza. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom. Indy Decorative Concrete. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hi, Chick. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Hello, Tom. Chick. Um, no, no, Chick's been trying to find some uh, proper music for the uh, forthcoming Olympics in Paris, France. Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, we have a, an astute listener uh, uh, by the name of uh, Mr. Thatcher. And he had said, uh, there's no need to go through all the French songs you can find. Really? One of the finest French musicians is probably wandering around the building right now. Of course, I'm referencing... Monsieur Pierre Hardon. <laughs> um, I have been here the whole time. Oh, oh he has oh, been here the whole yeah. time. Hey, Pierre, here's a great suggestion, Pierre. Um, you could write a new song each week of the Paris Olympics. I will do that for you. That'd be easy, though. That's only a couple of weeks. I think we should maybe the month before, yeah. Pierre, we'll get you doing a, a song uh, getting ready for the Olympic Games. I sleep on your couch, I eat your cheese, I kiss your wife, uh-huh. I sing a song. Oh, hey! You rascal, you. Oh, no. Is your, uh, is your <laughs> Italian girlfriend uh, with you? Why, what? Why, why would, would, I, why would the Giuseppe French guy doing? have an Italian girlfriend with I don't know. Not oh. that that's not okay. It's okay. Oh, Gina Statutori is not your girlfriend? I, do, the, I don't know her. He of course you don't. Italian Pierre, uh, as well. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry In Italy, Pierre. France, same thing. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> He's confused, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, Pierre, thank you for joining us. Um, it's I'm time sorry. now to check back in with Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk. California drivers experienced a brief but bizarre travel traffic delay after hundreds of rolls of toilet paper spilled out of a truck and onto a freeway. How does this keep 
Happen. I don't know. California, people can't secure their loads. That's their the loads, problem. loads go <laughs> all over the highway <laughs> all the time. Uh, covered in loads. Yeah. Loads and loads and California. loads of loads. Especially in the valley, from what I understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. California Highway Patrol <laughs> said the incident occurred on the I-5 near Calgrove Boulevard earlier this week. I-5? Calgrove. Five. Calgrove. The I-5. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the I-5. That's a, That's a big one. Uh, <laughs> you enjoyed it? I did, very much so. The two rightmost lanes were blocked by the toilet paper after it scattered across the pavement from boxes. Ah, naturally. This you know, song is this Christy? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you do with toilet paper? Flush it. Well, what do you do before that? Wipe out. Oh, it's wipe out. <laughs> <laughs> the, judges, the judges will give her the answer. Yeah, wipe out. It fell from a Ford F-350. Well, of course. Well, oh, well that never. doesn't sound like a, a main no. brand of toilet paper. <laughs> delivery, does it? Yeah. Oh, it's like a rogue It doesn't sound like yeah. Charmin rolls. Yeah, they're, they're right. selling this. <laughs> it would be, be yeah. much, much more ironic if it had been on the Hershey Highway in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you have a tribute to uh, losing your toilet paper on the highway in California by chance, Pat? Well, I know, yeah, we always have to do some sort of update. I can give you a little something. Sure, I can. Here we go. How are we going to wipe our ass? Toilet paper's all over the road. There's going to be a lack of paper for all those home commodes. Cops running around cleaning up the overturned load. And I say, Charmin, I know TP Highway Yeah On a rainy day Toilet paper turns to a mush like Paper mache <laughs> You're gonna hit a patch of mushy paper And go Whoa, 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 whoa. Now the teepee's stuck up in the trees. Looks like it's Halloween. Trucker's crying blue attire. He's thinking he'll probably get fired. Get fired. Everyone do 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 Skid marks on the road. Skid marks. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, they had uh, those motorcycle cops help clean it up. Oh, yeah? Out there in California. Yeah. They cleaned up the toilet paper. Oh, the chips? Well, in this case, it was ships. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, you use... Yeah, right, yeah, you're right. Very, very clear. Toilet paper. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, can you imagine you're the helicopter pilot and you're... You have to go cover the toilet paper spill, and you go, hey, you know, I I was the guy following O.J. in the white Bronco. Yeah, I, I, I used was, to be somebody. I, now, I, <laughs> now I got the toilet paper thing. I, I'm retiring. Okay. Uh, what else you got, Miss Christie? A uh, flight in China was delayed for over four hours after a passenger threw coins into the plane's engine. Oh, yeah, this is that good luck thing. Yep, you're right, Josh. Video shared by Chinese state media showed this a flight a, attendant. A, a viral thing? Uh, no, it's, it's a, a cultural happened thing. happened a lot. Oh. Yeah, apparently, it's quite often elderly. We had this a few years ago. Elderly yeah. people, it's some tradition in China. I guess you'd, you'd throw coins at a boat. Oh, okay. So now they're throwing them at aircraft, and apparently if they go in the engine, obviously it's going to cause... That's a problem. Yeah. 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 A flight attendant was seen questioning a passenger who could be heard saying they tossed three to five coins into the engine. The man was taken away by airport police. There have been similar incidents, as Tom mentioned, in recent years of people throwing coins at planes, apparently for good luck. The airline warned passengers that throwing coins at the plane pose a threat to aviation safety. And will result in different levels of punishment. Death. Yeah. Remember that irritating question they used to say, uh, yeah, I've got 35 cents and there are two coins and one of them's not a quarter. What do I have? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the dime is not a quarter. Right, right. 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 And don't you want to just slap people? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, tell you that. Yeah, fortunately, yeah. in the, our yeah. new cashless society, you know, yeah. never has to know that anymore. <laughs> right. Uh, and I think it'd be more impressive anyway if you're if you going to heave something into the engine. Yeah, yeah, come on. Step out. Throw in some folding money, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ten bucks. How about a 20 for the you effort? Want, you want this plane to land or not? <laughs> 
Results from a recent... I have a, but you know, my question, I guess, so they're not typically, don't they don't have the jetways and people have to walking out on the tarmac? Well, I don't think I, I could... I walked out on the tarmac the other day to get on a flight. I don't it think I've, I... I can't remember the last time I saw... It would have been easy for me to toss something into the engine, get it on a plane. Yeah. I don't think it... Uh, yeah, it's all uh, tarmac for me. All the uh, all the jetway. Sky, I mean, jetway, jetways. jetway, jetway. Yeah, there is that gap sometimes that the, in the jetway though, where you can touch the plane. Oh, sure, but I mean, but I don't yeah, think but, I don't know that you no, can you reach can, through and throw into the motor. I, when I flew to Florida last time, we landed, and they had the little. You went outside and walked on yeah. the tarmac. The last and, time I did it, it was in. Chicago in like December. Oh. Like, thanks, guys. Oh, but I love it when they <laughs> I love it when they wheel up the stairway thing, sure. when and then you you always you print, do. You, yeah, you print you the president. You stand before you start hit the steps. You stand in that little landing Platform. area, and, and you, you, know, you go, go he, "Hello, he, he thank pretend, you very much." He's the he pretends he's the president. Of course he does. <laughs> the old Nixon. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> I can do better than <laughs> several of our recent ones. Um, yeah, but you don't do that. That's a great. I love that feeling. Mm. No. Results from a recent clinical trial indicate that a single dose of LSD may provide immediate and lasting relief from anxiety. Please, immediate cons- I can't stand lasting. stories like that. In fact, I have to remove wow. myself from the story. This is uh, this is clinically uh, administered, Josh. This is really important. Biopharmaceutical company Mind Medicine Inc. announced it recently won U.S. Food and Drug Administration breakthrough therapy status. I can understand why he's Josh is yes. removing himself. He does suffer from anxiety, and this is probably kind of an irritating story. If yeah, you but I, I, they're not suggesting maybe that you they just, should be more more certain about it before they. They don't mean like you just go to an acid test with no. the sons you know. of Ken Kesey and listen to. <laughs> Uh, Listen to old Grateful Dead and fish. <laughs> it's, is, an, these are, what are the, it's is it called microdosing? It's is an it? LSD formulation to treat generalized anxiety disorder. The results did show that the LSD-based drug, so it's not just LSD, also improves signs of depression. Hmm. Hmm. I uh, studies uh, should continue. Yeah, a friend of mine did it, and he said he um, uh, he imagined himself on a boat on a river. Uh-huh. With the tangerine <laughs> trees and marmalades, <laughs> mar- marmalades, guys. Yeah. And uh, no, no, this is a very serious. They, they did that. We had the same story more or less about psilocybin about six months ago. Sure. Mm-hmm. It's worth looking into. Um, that <laughs> clickbaity headline, though, was uh, <laughs> a little. You know why Josh is mad, chick? Hmm. Because it's about it's about what, Christy Lee? LSD. LSD, and of course, when you think of LSD, you think of. Lakeshore Drive. Oh. There ain't no road just like it. Oh, my God. Anywhere I found. The one inside. With Josh on the beginning. Oh, I love this. Just slipping on by with Josh. I am troubled down. Isn't that a great song? It is a great song. Lakeshore Drive. I, uh, <laughs> the way that's that, that was a, a regional hit in what Chicago and St. Louis. And oh, I love a couple it. other places, and it was and reappeared recently in the movie uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians. Was it the first one or the second one? Uh, I think, I think well, it was the one second one. Second one. Yeah. Um, but it was yeah. the crappy one, so either the second. Uh, one. Um, first one was good. <laughs> first one was good. I'm uh, glad you liked it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's a specialty we had made just for Josh. Very sweet. Josh. It really is a good, <laughs> really is a good song. The way that he lays it in there. Slipping on. Josh. 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 Wait, but you think it's, like you think it's obviously fake? Josh. This is the real singer. No, this no, is, no. Not fake. Just. You, th- you think it's, you can tell it's been inserted? It's like a happy birthday song you get for your kids. Josh. Arnold. Happy birthday to Jimmy. <laughs> let me, let me, I'm listen, hang on a second, Pat. I'm going to hear the. There ain't no road just like it. I don't, I don't think it's that obvious. It it's okay. Like a different no. mic. I love it. It's that the actual guy. Good. That's a song I grew up with. Yeah. It's and I'm sure sweet. it is different mic and technology. <laughs> I think it's sweet. It is sweet. It's a nice Thank tune. You. Yeah, it's a little tribute to a Josh. Lovely gift. Voice is old. And it's timbers say. all off. I'm trying to get Josh. To I'm trying to the reel. man died a month later. Would you leave him oh. alone? <laughs> he did die very shortly. After. Thank you, Christy. The, once That's again, Christy Lee, all known around here as the angel of death. <laughs> well, he went, hey, I did the Josh Arnold song. Yeah. I have nothing else to live That's for. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Thank I have nothing to live for. Uh, that was okay. his last well, vocal. Well, <laughs> but I, I was able to reel Josh, Josh back into the- <laughs>
<laughs> Josh Arnold. Josh Arnold. Josh Arnold. In any event, the, the LSD experiments will continue. It's absolutely worth uh, studying, yes. And I, I also read an article that uh, they think maybe this microdosing can help uh, uh, with opiate uh, addiction. addiction. So who knows? Uh, we uh, also have a very interesting therapy coming up involving stem cells and regenerating limbs. How are your stems these days? Your gams? Your, They're okay, uh, your I guess. Your walking sticks? They oh. could always be better. I walk a lot. How can you help me? Well, I'm <laughs> glad you asked. <laughs> what a segue. Yes. Orangeinsoles.com can help you, Christy. Of course. If you've got uh, anybody out there, back pain, hip pain, Pain, knee pain, you know how much it affects your daily routine. Super frustrating. Sometimes you go, man, why is this happening? Well, it's either because you put out some sort of negative energy into the universe or <laughs> it's because your foundation is off. That's probably the likely reason. Yeah. If you work on your feet all day, you're putting stress on your body. What kind of support is currently in your shoes? Is it that lame, thin fruit roll-up of a shoe liner? Well, that's offering zero support. Go to orangeinsoles.com. Find out about how orange insoles offer arch support. They have a deep cup, like Christie's bra, to properly support your heel, your feet, and thus your whole body. Oh, I'm getting a text from Orange Insoles. Knock it off with the bra talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, here you got another one from HR. <laughs> oh, well, why I, is that? Why is that in pink? That should just that should just oh. be a standing meeting, shouldn't it? <laughs> Helping to alleviate uh, all your pain, Orange Insoles does. Think of a table. If it wobbles, that means it doesn't have proper support. If you're feeling a little wobbly these days with the aches and pains, well, you're not getting proper support. These are great for all kinds of shoes, in case you were wondering. Work boots, sneakers, dress shoes, high heels, golf shoes, you name it. Find the right fit for you when you go to orangeinsoles.com and do their insole quiz. It'll let you know exactly what you're looking for. Head to orangeinsoles.com. Free shipping, my friends. Plus, Orange Insoles come with a 60-day we-want-you-to-be-happy guarantee. You have nothing to lose by giving these a try. Also, no cutting required. They come true to size. You don't have to mess with scissors. That's orangeinsoles.com. They may very well help you feel better and do more. Very good. Thank you very much, Josh. Uh, coming up, we have uh, a raccoon inside a uh, fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. And we have um, an unusual way to cook salmon in the news, speaking of cooking. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have, um, can you tell the difference between a zucchini and a cucumber? I think so. Uh, you'll be surprised how many can't when we come back. <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, everybody, the Bob and Tom Show going to be on. I, I'm actually in love right now. My boyfriend and I are walking around town in a two-headed Snuggie. <laughs> um, it's getting pretty intense. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad, you know, because I, I have a hard time listening to the, the love, you know, love songs with Delilah. Where are you calling from tonight? Uh. Where are you? What's going on with you tonight? What's your name? <laughs> Requests and dedications. <laughs> Hi, Amy, calling in from Tuscan, Arizona. What's going on with you tonight? <laughs> you and Matt broke up. That's hard. What do you want to say to Matt tonight? <laughs> we'll play that for you. That's Penny Lover by Lionel Richie. Penny Lover. Oh, uh, you know what? I've had enough. That's, I, that's it. I'm, I'm in love with her. I remember that very well. Maria, that is... Uh, for, those that, <laughs> for those that get that, yes. uh, and for those that don't, you should listen to Delilah just so you do. Just that yeah. one just time. So get oh, the joke. Intense. They should have those songs. Aren't they're not good for people's mental health? Like they should have little footnotes at the end of every verse. You know, I would cross an ocean for you if that ocean led to an English-speaking country. Because at this point in my life, it'd be really difficult to learn a second language fluently. Not to mention the anti-American sentiment. But we'd have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Wow, you are quite the literalist, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Baby, I would die for you if I were already dying and you just needed my giblets. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Bamford is our guest. She's not kidding. She hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day, parties, or any time. 
<laughs> Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Third and goal, hit golden showers. Tate on a slant that was initially ruled a touchdown with eight seconds left. After review, the play was overturned. As you can see, he's short of the goal line. Uh, no, he's not. And yes, he is. He's way short of the goal line. He's like half, he's like an entire ball short of the goal line. The football, Tom. Uh, so that's with eight seconds left. They had to stop play, look at the review. That, but then, due to a rule that causes a 10-second runoff when a clock is stopped by officials and then restarted, the game ended. What? With what? eight seconds left. What's the point so of that they didn't get another play? In theory, the Lions could have lined up with a fourth down play as time expired, but the initial call of a touchdown is actually what disallowed that possibility. God. Why? The rule exists because the rules committee led by Don Shula, <laughs> the only curves on he wheels in sons of bitches. I hate all you young mother... You know, when you're full, you're kind of like, this is stupid. <laughs> but when you're hungry, the food networks are like porn. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Whip yeah. it up, baby. Make it for me. I love eating late at night, too. You know, you're not supposed to eat late at night. And mm -hmm. then again, you're not supposed to drink booze in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, you're a single guy. Yeah, I tell you, though, it's tough because... Uh... <laughs> I got these neighbors behind uh -huh. me. Really? My neighbor Gail, very um, Gail. Uh, Gail is a woman who just moved. Her bedroom wall is right behind mine, and um, she has a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I found this out. Uh, his name is. <laughs> <laughs> Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. If you wanna turn your daddy parts orange, eat some Cheetos and watch some porn. But Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy's here and Josh, Ace, yeah. Pat Godwin over there. Maybe we'll hear a song this uh, this time. Josh hello, Tom. Uh, hello, Chick. I, I, um, Josh we had Arnold. An interesting news story <laughs> about um, LSD. And I found another one, um, Christy. Yes, sir. This is uh, researchers are saying LSD could be used as a possible treatment for Obsessive compulsive disorder, mm. um, and uh, it's also being considered to be used in uh, opiate addiction. And these are these so-called microdoses. Is that one and done, or do you have to keep using it? That's the thing. We, these, we, I'm sure there's a complicated protocol. Oh, I'm sure. okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, don't just do acid no. and think that these, your problems are going to go away. No, God. Yeah, and I mean, in this case, they said it could be used for treating anxiety. Yeah, let the clinics uh, let the let them figure this out. Remember the old phrase? Uh, what? See, what? Uh, what was a uh, turn on, tune in, uh, drop out, calm down, oh, calm down. Oh, yeah, not drop. Calm that's that's, down. that's what everybody with anxiety needs to be. Calm just down. calm down. Just calm down. <laughs> is that what it is? 
<laughs> Has that ever worked? Oh, Have you ever in, an, in an argument, no. no you, never, yeah. never in the history Calm of Calm down. I just found this Calm down. Uh, look, lady. None of these ever worked. <laughs> are you through yet? <laughs> are you through? I'm not saying you are a bitch. You're just acting like right? that. Right. That's a bad one. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was exploring. I, I was exploring uh, LSD stuff. Uh-huh. And I found this one. Um, this was a couple years ago. Uh, a guy uh, was at the Burning Man Festival and uh, decided to um, run into the burning. That's a great idea. Effigy. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, it does not end well. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, he's one of the 700,000 people at that event that did not get home. Oh. Uh, <laughs> talk about dying by irony. Oh, my God. Jeez. What the hell? Oh, I mean, sorry, because he ended up being a burning man, you see. Yeah. Mm. Right. Not quite clear on yeah. how this festival was supposed to work. This is weird. I have blood on my finger, and I don't know where it came from. Anybody uh, mm. have any guesses? <laughs> I, I, I have a couple of guesses that could well. get me fired. <laughs> Do you have, uh, Did you some pick your nose? Uh, no, maybe. It, oh, my cuticle is slit. Oh. Maybe it's uh, anal fissure. Do you have one of those? You were oh, digging it. Man. I do, but I didn't. I didn't oh. dig. Uh, you sure? Uh, break. Sorry to interrupt the show with that. Uh, right. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? It's alarming thinking? when you look down and see that you're. I'm just aware of this poor idiot that ran into the burning effigy at Burning Man. Was there a suggestion that he was yeah, on acid uh, at the time? Yeah, apparently. Ah, oh, man, that's a bummer. Yeah, weren't they all stuck in the mud? Just, maybe he was just maybe he was just burned out. Yeah, yeah he, he certainly. <laughs> certainly there, were, there was a lot of mud and awfulness yeah, there. It smells like around. barbecue. I'd like to go. Would you go to that time with uh, me? No, uh, but thank you. Uh, unless I was glamping. Yeah, um, that you can. We got a nice, you know, air conditioned unit. Yeah, fly me in and fly me out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Christy Lee, what do you got over there? Well, one more science story. They're apparently making progress towards limb regeneration. Researchers from Kyushu University and Harvard Medical School have identified proteins that can reprogram fibroblast cells into limb progenitor, progenitor cells. Progenitor, progenitor, progenitor probably. Progenitor? Doesn't fibroblast sound like a cereal? Oh, it yeah. sure does. Fibroblast. You haven't sat down on the toilet for three weeks? Try fibroblast. You'll take off like a rocket. Turning skin cells into <laughs> limb cells sets the stage toward long-term goal of regenerating human limbs after amputation. Well, that would be wild. Can you imagine? I mean, wow. I'd be way riskier a living life. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you, <laughs> really? You know, sure. You could do a uh, full contact sword play and no <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. they lap yeah. off, they lap off your hand, they can grow a new one. <laughs> what this, you, this is very preliminary. They're not sure. <laughs> so if you were one of the folks that went to that Chiefs game and you your fingers froze off, it's not going to be here before the next Super Bowl. Yeah. That has yeah. gained some ground, though, Chick. I think you have a lot to do with it. What about? I, I've, I've been seeing it more and more. That story. I like the term "full contact sword play." I like that. <laughs> I, yeah. Oh well, yeah. Remember we had that story. Oh a, sure. A couple weeks ago, with some yeah. te some teacher. Yeah, I was using real swords. Brought some swords and I had the kids. God, and some People kid got cut. How, how how sharp swords are. Chick, yeah. do you think the superintendent or principal used the phrase, what did you think would happen? Oh, uh, the problem, <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I certainly hope so. Costco uh, in the news today. Oh, okay. They're planning to roll out more Kirkland Signature sushi counters across the country. Really? The company launched the in-house sushi counter last summer at their location in Washington across from the Costco headquarters. Across the, is, is it Asakwa? Osaka? Osaka? No, I don't know. Washington? I'm sure one of our listeners will know. According to Today.com, executives have deemed the trial a success and intend to expand the offering. I bet it's good. I no, haven't I had bet it. it's have really you? good. No, I because there's only one yeah, like, uh, location. A hundred dragon rolls, please. <laughs> oh, you have to you have buy them in bulk. That's the minimum order. Uh, yeah, can I get... I, can, do I, can I only get 400 salmon, Nigeri? Okay, thank you very much. You still have hot dogs? Hot dogs? Oh, yeah. yeah. They have hot dogs. That pizza. restaurant kills it. I've never yeah, I've, eaten anything from there. but I haven't either, but every time I go, it's packed. Busy as all get out. Yes. I've had the pizza. It's not bad. And I mean, I, it's great, is it, what yeah. I should say. Yeah, it's really good. I watched a guy make one yesterday while I was there. He was having a great time. Oh, yeah, they're right Spinning there. Spinning the dough. He's yeah. right there in the window. Wow. Yeah. yeah. One of my uh, guys I know that's a really good chef, he said the best place to get a pork belly if you're going to cook a pork belly, and who, who, doesn't, who doesn't want to do that? They're delicious. I, I buy Costco. almost all my meat at Costco. They have great Very meat. Very good. We just had pork belly. Yeah, last we week. did. Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. The story of a British does woman. Does the uh, sushi crowd get along with the hot dog crowd? 
Mm. I don't sure. Think, why wouldn't they? Yeah, they, I think they at least respect each other. Really? Well, unless one of them, the sushi or the hot dog, are minorities, then ah, okay, uh, they probably but that gets into other things, sure, like history sure. and such. It's yeah, unfortunate. So the point is, so say you're you want to go out one Saturday afternoon by yourself, eight hundred rolls of toilet paper, a couch, some sunglasses, and three hundred orders of dragon rolls. You can do it now. Yeah, it's yeah. At Costco. All right. <laughs> Maybe I love you. You could combine sushi that. with hot dogs. Make a hot dog roll. Oh. So are these going to be in Costco or like freestanding? In. In, in Costco. In the Costco's. Okay. Chick, yeah. you know how to make a hot dog roll? Uh, Put it on the hill. <laughs> Put it on the hill, Tom. How about that? You just wrote that. Yep. That's a he brand just, new joke. He just came up right off the top of his head. <laughs> brand new. Never been yeah. told before. Even though he had that horrible uh, incident with his cuticle, he yeah. just came right up with that. I'm real upset about this. Yeah, I can tell. I'm losing a lot of blood. <laughs> You need to moisturize more. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Don't you have one of those hot dog toasters? Yes. And, when you, and you put the hot dogs in vertically? Right. And the buns as well. And I gifted them to many around mm -hmm. here, yeah. How many does it hold? Two, but there is a four. Yeah, out there. Yeah. There's a four a hot dog Slicer, bun, if you will, four yeah. Polar? For four buns and four dogs. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm is confused. each hole made for a hot dog or, or there are just two, a bun? Either end has a bun hole so two holes there a bung hole a bung hole a bun hole, bun hole so it's yeah. two bung holes bun. well bun yes holes it does what we're well, saying. Bun <laughs> and then and then two wiener holes <laughs> okay so you got your wiener holes <laughs> your so holes. can you put a wiener hole in a bung hole you could but i don't think but it would not the properly. opposite though it wouldn't right go, you it wouldn't, wouldn't want to jam the bun into the wiener hole it well, wouldn't occur no. but you can jam a wiener into your bun hole <laughs> in fact i wish you would just ask her first it's a lot of mustard. <laughs> Honey, it's my birthday. Uh, I'll get it out. The story of a British woman going viral after revealing that she cooked salmon in her dishwasher. I hate these dumb. <laughs> oh, you like? You oh, don't yeah, like? I wonder where the story came from. I thought you'd like the. Um, no, I do. If you're going to talk about the the guy cooking on the manifold, no, too, that is such a, a stupid car. idea. I no. bet this steams it perfectly. Yeah. And... The idea came to Angie <laughs> Matthews when she was in the middle of moving, and the only appliance she had left was her dishwasher. The 53-year-old resident of Shropshire decided to try out the unusual cooking hack by first wrapping the fish in two layers of tin foil before placing them in the machine. Oh. Though Matthews had overcooked the fish by forgetting to turn off the intensive setting, uh. she was surprised to find the method worked. She told the Southwest News Service it was still absolutely fine and I did eat it. Did the other dishes smell like salmon? Yeah, for the next year. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Where's that Southwest News? Is it still in Arizona? The Southwest News Service? Is that where that is? <laughs> I believe okay. so. Thank you. All right. So uh, does it, did it taste like a lemon-scented cascade oh. salmon? You put the fish sticks in the uh, silverware holders? Yeah. Oh, God. You don't have... Really, you're essentially poaching the salmon. Well, you're right, course. right. And Steaming you, it, yeah. But if you left it on a full cycle, you're cooking it for an hour... Well, there wouldn't be anything left, I would yeah. think. Yeah, you put it in for 10 minutes. Maybe. I use the same method, but I just microwave it. You just wrap it in a bunch of tin foil. Really? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Put That's it in the microwave for about uh, five yeah. minutes. Yep. You don't like the salmon a la Maytag? <laughs> no. yeah, yeah, there was that story a few years ago. Chick just referenced it. Where the, the manifold. The yeah. guy puts the sandwich in the wraps it in foil, puts it in the manifold. Then next On time, a two-hour trip, I have a baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Terrific. Yeah. 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 We're in a shortage for restaurants. <laughs> right. Right. Hey, what those... <laughs> Those, uh, I those, forgot. those toxins really make it taste good. Yeah. Because as you know, there are no restaurants yeah. between here and everywhere. And enough of that Mad Max. Yeah. You don't have to do <laughs> it that way. We got enough. Uh, we got enough. There's a land of plenty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Calm down. We have teased this story for a week. It's time to do it. A new survey reveals people's biggest turnoffs while going out to eat with a date. Farting. That's a. That's probably on here. I'm, according to the poll commissioned by Domino's. 60% of oh, respondents... I see their game. Okay. <laughs> ...said they cannot stand people who are rude to waiters. Yeah, I would agree. 50% said they hate it when someone spits something back onto their plate. Um, oh, do they? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> people don't care for that? Uh, or, 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 or even, you know, worse, even worse if they spit it at the waiter. <laughs> yeah. We at Domino's like to remind you, this never happens when we deliver you a pizza, by God. 25% are unwilling to date someone who sticks to the straight and narrow and is a fussy eater. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Yeah. There are a lot of fussy eaters out there, and they're still I'm lovely a people. Fussy aren't they? eater. Well, I got to take a look at them. But if they're ugly, fussy people, well, yeah. yeah. Oh no, that's <laughs> that, that's a typo. <laughs> that. Oh really? <laughs> that F is supposed to be a P. Oh, oh, I see. Well, it makes sense that maybe. Twenty-five percent. Yeah. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Just that just dawned on it. Just changes just, everything. Just came to me. Twenty-five percent. <laughs> yeah, they won't just go on. Uh, yeah. I I think that would be high if it were the other. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Uh, top ten food turnoffs. We talked about being rude. Eating with your mouth open. <laughs> this is one of mine. Talking with your mouth full of food. I Why you mean? You all right, crap? crap. Oh, I hate it. What about making a yummy noise? Mmm, <laughs> boy, or stuff like that. <laughs> That's okay. Spitting something back onto a plate. We talked about picking your teeth. I hate that. Slurping soup. <laughs> eating other people's leftovers without asking. Give me that. You're gonna. <laughs> you're gonna eat that. <laughs> Sure looks like a good burger. I want it. Boy. Do you not like to share your food with somebody? Well, that's different. I don't know. They didn't ask. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. <laughs> oh, you were making Tom's <laughs> morning. <laughs> Josh is going to forget about his cuticle. <laughs> what, right. uh, what are you we know, You don't like it if your date leans over with a fork. Hey, can, uh, I, can I taste that? If sure. they, yeah, She's going to yeah, lose a limb. If, if I, I'm, I'm fine with trading. <laughs> Oh, you want to try? Well, then. Oh, I, you want to trade a bite? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. no, you want so, a tater tots? Then I get half your sandwich. <laughs> well, see, and it's a good deal for you. <laughs> right, right. So you don't do the thing where you go, you know, you get the fish, I'll get the steak. I've, I and have done that. Split. That is kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait till you have kids, Josh, but then you'll have to go. Okay, you can order your first choice. What's your second choice? I'll get that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're gonna have to make this. Yeah, and then you know, eventually you just eat whatever the hell is left over. <laughs> Uh, licking a knife is a turnoff. What? Criticizing someone's cooking. <laughs> licking your fingers instead of using a napkin is a turnoff. Yeah. Christy, well, yeah, wait, what if you're at a funky barbecue place? What well, are you going to do? That's different. I say, do, do you have the moist towelettes? That's no, you want to lick your fingers off. Hmm. What about um, maybe and you go, hey, this is me and you later, baby. Oh, that would oh. be. Oh. I would be out. Well, I'd be running to the door. You think, you think these fingers are greasy? Oh. Uh, but things get arid when you do that. Oh. You know, I'm one of those uh, fuzzy people you've heard about. <laughs> Christy, where are you at on blowing your nose at a table in a restaurant? No. Yeah, you go to you the go bathroom. To the yes. What about Combing your hair. How about that? Right there <laughs> at the table. Oh, I can't true. get mad at it because it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. I just want to look my best. Look my best oh, anybody right who carries a comb, no, any sir. man who carries a comb, that's very funny to me. What about dining and dashing? Is that a term <laughs> <laughs> on a first date? It could be a thrill. Uh, one of the <laughs> items. Dining and dashing could be I, a thrill, yeah. he says. I do it four out of five times. <laughs> no kidding. All right. It that pays for itself, really. Using oh, yeah. a knife and fork to eat pizza? I do that all the time. I think that's okay. That's okay. Oh, that spells freak. Okay. It does spell maybe it's... fussy or high maintenance. No, it's because I'm one of those it's... fussy people, Tom. And ordering a well-done steak, Ace, is a turnoff, according that's to the list. That's, that's good thing I don't like go to steakhouse. Why, uh... There's wait a minute, wait, more. hang on a second. So, because... Don't, you don't go to don't, steak. Don't. No, don't. Does make it a joke. <laughs> don't. I, Ace, do you like the flavor of the the, the burned sort of meat, yeah, or the, do you the just or flesh. does the blood creep you out? No, I, I like the flavor. The flavor. It's all about flavor for you. Okay. No. So well, the first one was spitting something on your plate. That's yeah. so gross. How about gross. spitting it on their plate? No, that's even grosser. <laughs> that wait, word? wait. Give me that. Give me, let me have your plate for a second. How about? Yes. I have a follow up. Try that. That tastes funny. <laughs> how about spitting it toward the kitchen? Is that a problem? <laughs> this also says eating just the pizza and leaving the crusts. What's wrong with that? Oh, you a, mean lot the bones? Do that. The bones. Oh, a lot of people do that. The bones. I love the bones. I like it that my guy doesn't like them because I get to eat them. They're like breadsticks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they don't have any flavor. That's the a turn off for people. Yes. So you, you eat your husband's soggy, chewed on crust. That's yes. Crust. <laughs> He's gummed all those. It's got germs on it. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, oh you're gross. Good oh, my God. God. You're real gross. Sure. I guess yeah, so. But he's not fussy. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Is he, a, is he a fussy guy? Is he a fussy <laughs> eater? <You're> fussy eater. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Pat. He'll eat fussy all night. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. I may have gone uh, <laughs> sweet, sweet fussy. It's not really he pulls a, that uh, fussy <laughs> down around his ear. <laughs> Does. Uh, <laughs> we have more of these if you want to keep talking about it. If not, we I'm can done. tell. We can tell you don't. <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> we just broke Christy. <laughs> 
How do you feel about cornering the dip, Josh? <laughs> cornering the dip? Yeah, you, know, you, you go up to a, like there's some big spread. <laughs> <laughs> like buffet. Some cocktail oh. buffet. Cocktail buffet. Do you ever go up there and kind of, you know, position yourself? <laughs> See this giant bowl of dip? Don't anybody get there this. <laughs> I'll bully the dip. Yeah. You don't double dip, though, right? That's a turn off. It depends. If I want more dip, I'll go ahead and uh, no, get, you get won't. back in there. Uh. Yeah, just, just take your fingers. I'm just going to get the rim this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at the time. Okay, well, right now the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. This is a smart idea. Uh, the idea is to take contemporary technology, that stuff we're carrying around all the time now, these computers that we have on our desk or <laughs> in our lap or in our phone, and we can access therapy through that. And it's, it's a really good idea. And uh, if you've been thinking about maybe uh, doing some stuff for yourself, um, this is a great way to do it. What you do is you fill out a special questionnaire. It's brief, and you'll get matched with a licensed therapist. By the way, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. That's done online, of course, as is the therapy. And that's the key to this. It makes it a lot more convenient. You don't have to get in your car, drive across town, sit in an office, look around. No, you can do it on your phone if you want. You can talk to the therapist, or you can do a FaceTime type thing or a Zoom, or you can text back and forth. It's about what works for you and about empowering you to become the best version of yourself with therapy. Give it a shot. Go to betterhelp.com slash BT show today. That'll knock 10% off your first month if you add that uh, slash BT show part. Learn to make time about, and find out, I should say, learn to make time to find out what makes you happy with better help. That's better help, H E L P, better help. Dot com slash BT show. Give yourself some time to do something for yourself. And this part of the Bob and Tom show is sponsored by Better Help. Coming up, it'll be sexy time with Allie Breen. This is the Bob and Tom show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom show on Facebook. Get the link at Bob and Tom dot com. This is the Bob. This is one of my favorite tunes, by the way. Tom's going to do one of his big hits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is, actually. It's one, it's of the, a huge hit. one of the better ones. Yeah, all set over there, Tom. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Who are you speaking to? <laughs> oh. It's that strange it's European accent, accent that you can't indeed. quite place. Uh, yes, uh, I'm sorry, your name, sir? Bonjour. 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 Good morning, Mr. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, he said. You must be the chick, the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, thank you so much. I'm sorry, I, uh, we didn't catch your name. I haven't thought of one yet. I see. I, I see. I see. Um, it's Peter Merritt, isn't it? Or... <laughs> I think it is Peter Merritt. Peter Merritt. Something yes. Like that? Uh, yes. That would be very funny. He's the crappy artist, isn't he? Dick Merritt? Yeah. <laughs> Ricardo Merritt. Yeah. Ricardo Merritt. Uh -huh. Excuse me, darling. I hate to interrupt you, but there's something I must tell you. I will sing for you now. Oh. <clears throat> In a minute. <laughs> Let it come around. I will sing after the band comes around. <laughs> it's the band's fault. If you find yourself in Holland, They'll say to you, how you want. In France, they'll say, ferme la gueule. In Athens, you'll hear, scarmont. In Berlin, it's held in the schnauzer. In Jakarta, it's simply, bon com. Let me translate for you, darling. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Coming around again. Has there ever been a topic <laughs> on which you don't expound? Has there ever been a moment when your mouth wasn't making a sound. <laughs> Have you ever had the feeling that you might have said enough? <laughs> I am begging you, my darling. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Matter. You 
you still want to shoot the breeze when I hear your constant chatter I'm thinking someone shoot me please <laughs> maestro now we are in the bedroom so comfortably inclined but the only intercourse we're having is the conversational kind. There's just one way to stop you from blabbering so much. Say hello to Mr. Johnson <laughs> and shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> ah, bravo. Ferme la douche. Yes. Bonjour. Merde Chevalier. Merde Chevalier. Uh -huh. oh, Maurice <laughs> Chevalier-anus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Maurice Chevalier. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. The new millennium doesn't start until January 1st, 2001. Yeah, obviously, there was no year zero, so I, you know... <laughs> okay, no. okay, whatever, but come on, baby. I want to try this kinky thing I read about using warm vegetables. I've got carrots, potatoes, and your favorite, tomatoes. You know, that's kind of a common mistake. The tomato actually is a fruit, not a vegetable. <laughs> Interestingly enough, the tomato is in the uh, same family as the poisonous nightshade plant. And <laughs> Listen, don't talk. Just come to bed. I'll tell you what. I'll give you you know, it's odd that people call it that. There's actually no blowing involved. You know, the term probably originated. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. You can go f yourself. You know, technically, that's not possible. <laughs> this has been the guy who would rather nitpick than have sex. Hi, this is Larry Reeb, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world, and I'm a happy guy. And you're listening to the Bob and Tom Radio. Bob and Tom Show. Uh, hello, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Yeah. Uh, hello, calling, visiting, uh, listening to show. We're visiting, visiting with uh, comedian Frank Caliendo. He was just talking about Raymond Burr. Oh, Frank Caliendo. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. <laughs> John Madden. <laughs> Does the John Madden. Uh -huh, Very yeah. good. He, he was doing his impression of the uh, fabulous actor Raymond Burr. You're familiar with Mr. Burr, of course. Perry Mason. Side, yes. Actually, it was interesting because we were talking about uh, one of uh, Mr. Burr's earliest films, uh, of course, the legendary one of the film. Not familiar with Uri Raven Burr. Yes, I was in Godzilla. I never tell Frank, you uh, congratulations. You're That's here. The one millionth time we've done that bit, ladies and gentlemen. You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on. You realize it's not your girlfriend. It's just a woman on a bus. So <laughs> that's how you know you're too high. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the lamp. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> did you shake that up on purpose I before you opened it? Who shook this up? No. Shook what up? I don't know, but he shook up the Topo Chico. No. <laughs> they all oh, had carry on. All <laughs> yeah. go everywhere. Mark Bringtows. Oh, <laughs> Christy, what's going on over there Wait in the uh, world of uh, oh news? Oh. Okay, throw the <laughs> throw it. Throw the GD is what he wanted to say. Oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, sorry, it was a little, little soda water fish uh -huh. in incident. Well, they, at least any stain that's over there will be yeah, yeah. Uh, soon cleaned. <laughs> a little club soda will get that out. <laughs> Isn't that what they say? Yeah. That's what they say. <laughs>
<laughs> are we done with our dining hunk? Yes. I I'm considered a dining hunk. You are? <laughs> huh. You're a hunk. Yes. Is, is there right? a count? Is there fatties of something like, <laughs> like you know, they always have the fireman calendars sure, or they yeah. have. There've got to be calendars that just, you know, fatties of uh, Cracker Barrel or whatever. And they're just <laughs> eating meals. Well, fatties would of that Cracker sell? Barrel. <laughs> yes. I, know I don't think. I bet there already is one. That's Cracker Barrel. I don't approved. think. They, I don't think they would call it that. <laughs> They would, They'd have it, to have some kind of fancy name. It would name. be yeah. like Husky. gastronomy. Uh, Rubenesque. Yes. Yeah. The Rubenesque boys of. <laughs> Rubenesque boys. R Rubenesque boys of radio. How about the Rubenesque eating Rubens? And it's just fat guys eating Rubens. <laughs> oh, hey, there you go. Oh, each there each you month. Go. Yeah. You know, a guy in a, a witch's hat for October. <laughs> but everything, all those other, his clothes are just normal. Right. He has a witch's hat. He's just and then a witch, a different headwear. No, I, I have a request. Bunny ears for Easter. If you'd buy this yeah. calendar, yeah. write the show. Right. <laughs> a Santa Claus hat for... Say, you know, if you do one story, then I've got I've to get organized to get this request orchestrated. It's for Pat. <laughs> but uh, it's going to require a little bit of work. It's for Pat. It's for Pat. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I'm just, I'm trying to... Why don't you just tell him what song you want him to play? But Christy, that isn't how this works. <laughs> we figured you know that how out it works. The, we yeah, it, it works the way he says it works. Yes. Is how it works. A customer at a McDonald's restaurant in Toronto captured video of a curious and presumably hungry raccoon wandering into the restaurant. They don't have Seems. McDonald's in Canada. <laughs> The video, the video, the video shows the raccoon calmly wandering around inside of the Scarborough area McDonald's while customers look on in surprise and amusement. Get him a burger! Someone in the McDonald's. <laughs> Somebody yelled. just yelled that. Get him a burger. <laughs> Eventually, Set the town cut up. Yeah. A, bro <laughs> a broom wielding employee brushed the raccoon out the door. Eventually. Well, that's not fair. Oh, give the guy a burger. Come it's on. Sweet. It looks like he's auditioning to be the new Hamburglar, <laughs> little feller. He's <laughs> having a nice time. Do you think the raccoon went, you know what, I've been around this dumpster for a while, but I notice the fresher food is coming from in there. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Got a whole burger, not just a couple bites. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, here's right, the letter. Pat. And it, it has a video here. As you can see, I'm in a video, a visual component, excuse me. There's the nice little doggy. Mm -hmm. All right, there's a picture of a dog. Picture of a doggy. Yeah. Standard um, pooch. Yep. This is uh, from uh, Harmony. Harmony and me. What a sweet name. Harmony uh, writes. Oh, it's a good song. My six-month-old Australian shepherd, Peppers, was outside enjoying the day. I went outside. She hasn't been outside, hasn't seen nice weather since September. I went to check on her, and she was lying on her back. Sunning her perineum. Oh. I warned her about the risks I'd heard about on the Bob and Tom show. She did not seem to care. Now, Peppers, you realize that. <laughs> now, uh, that's supposed to be a sign uh, that your uh, dog's happy when it lays on its back. Yeah. Oh, they're, so not, they're not afraid. They're very happy. They're open. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, sunning the perineum was a big uh, fad. A couple Trend, of years yeah. ago. Josh Brolin did it. Remember mm -hmm. that? Josh really... Brolin famously did it, and he famously yeah. weighed Burned in himself, saying that he yeah. burned his perineum. Oh. And I saw it on one of those silly reality made-up shows that's on Bravo. Oh. I don't know if it was Housewives Jersey or something. Taints. Yeah, something like that. The Jersey Taints? <laughs> it's very popular. They okay. had some <laughs> meditation coach with this girl, and they went outside and got <laughs> naked and did that. It was so ridiculous. Yeah, yeah and he, well, the, art, the story from him, it, apparently it's a TikTok trend. Uh-huh. And uh, Josh Brolin, as you indicated, said he got terribly sunburned after trying perineum sunning. What? Well, what do you think was going to happen? And um, th they, that is one of those. What do you think's going to happen? <laughs> uh, so they talked to a dermatologist, uh, uh, Doctor Dustin Portalena, who said this increases the uh, chances of developing skin cancer. And they uh, also talked to Doctor Stephanie Uwe. <laughs> oh. uh, I swear to God, her last name, it says here, the pronouncer says, it rhymes with gooey. Okay. So Ooey. it's Dr. Stephanie She's Ooey. a witch doctor. Is that that the uh, hospital of ooey? <laughs> ooh -ha. Ooh -ha. Bing bang, walla walla, bing bang. Uh, in walla walla, Washington. <laughs> That's what I thought. Dr. Stephanie Ooey uh, from My Healthcare Clinic said, this is a classic example of social media misinformation, which can be damaging and dangerous. Yes. So, uh... Don't put the brown eye to the sky, as they say. And you have a tribute to this, Pat? Sure, sure. 
nothing could be finer than some sun on your vagina in the morning. Nothing could be sweeter than the tan under your Peter in the morning. Oh, well, the sun don't normally shine between the beehole and <laughs> the naughty. Get some rays on that behind for all you trendy hardies. Man, you gotta see them tanning their perineum <laughs> in the morning. Who oh, legs up in the air with no panties on down there makes me horny. Oh, oh, ladies, tan your tits. If only for a day. <laughs> and that big vitamin D energy is all coming your way. Nothing could be finer than some sun on your vagina in the morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, thank you, Harmony, for that nice request. Yes. And what a sweet little doggy. I love this picture. The dog, the dog has that classic dog look like. All right. Yeah. Enough pictures, okay? <laughs> that got, is a good dog. I have paws to lick and things to do, all right? I'm a good doggy. Oh, uh, well, thank you very much, Pat. You know, Pat's going to be joining us on the stage. That's right. Uh, it's going to be a great show. Willie G, Patty G, Joshy, Oscar, Christian and I will be your hosts. It's going to be in West Virginia. Looking forward to it just around the corner. Charleston, West Virginia is the place. The date, April 5th, a special edition of this morning show that morning at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center, courtesy of Rock 105. And we will feature Duke Tomato, the Power Trio, and the Brass to Mouth Horns, and a special comedy show that night. Get the details from the station. Listen up. We certainly appreciate it. We're coming right back. We've got uh, just around the corner, Allie Breen and Sexy Time. This is The Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to The Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not... Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guests. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right, it all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston or Deacon, Come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale now and they're going fast. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See, see you there! there. Who else have you met with this no. voice that you do? Any, anybody else? I've met I've met everybody I do except for Denzel Washington. He's hmm. the one I haven't met. Um, Is anyone upset by your imitation? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, thanks for bringing it up. Yes, right. there's uh, we're, Kanye had a lot to say. <laughs> but oh, he, really? He's that's, usually so sad. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, did you really count that of him being mad? That was just him being Kanye. Yeah, that's Shannon dope. Sharp hates my impression. <laughs> he cannot stand it. I'm guessing because it's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that... That's what I believe. I thought it would. I thought it would bite on. I thought it would make it. <laughs> and you know the fact that Thannon doesn't like it is just offensive to me. But you know yeah. some people. I hear you. Some people just you know skip skip skip. Uh -huh. skip. Some people just don't like mirrors. Skip. <laughs> but when you see the mirror, you say to yourself, "Do I really sound like that?" And I'm gonna be right there on the other side saying, "Yes, you do." <laughs> Shannon hates it, man. It's uh, everybody else. I haven't. And Ben Carson had a little bit to say, but, you know, he ain't popping. So, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? he, he, can, he can say whatever. I, I pretty much, that was like my that was like my, it was a character, pretty much. <laughs> he was sleeping. It wasn't sleepy, even an man. impression. I did these little cat hands. <laughs> you know, right. the hands, with the hands like this, yep. and I would turn my face, and so many people would ask me, they'd come to my shows, can we do the Ben Carson pose? <laughs> I was like, this is actually a thing. Yeah. 
I didn't yeah. think it was a thing, but so I got so there's people sending me pictures posing like this. Even somebody sent me a picture of a cat doing it. <laughs> Their cat. There was, a, there was a picture of a baby. He was doing it. I was like, I did not know that this obscure impression had so much premise over you all. Uh-huh. I did not know that. Now what's he? Is, what is he like? Secretary of something? He may, he may be retiring. Yeah, he's something. He's something. He's secretary of we, housing. We don't got a yeah, yeah. You know, we got, <laughs> I'm just, let's get past him. We just want him. We just want him to have you know something really something high profile do, so you can bring yeah. it. Back. Oh, okay. I wish, man. You know, he just needs to go fill out an application and work at Arby's. I want to. <laughs> I want to parry you. Have a philosophy on uh, doing impressions of people who are no longer with us. Uh, do I? Do I, you, I mean, you're yeah. Okay can you that? do Taft? <laughs> <laughs> you William Taft? William Howard Taft. No, but my FDR is pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> my sit. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yeah, I definitely sit down for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do Teddy Roosevelt, but I do FDR. <laughs> <laughs> he has a back of a chocolate declare. <laughs> That's one of his famous quotes. <laughs> Jay Farrow is our guest. My wife listens to ASMR. I don't know if you guys know what ASMR is or stands for. Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. And I don't know what that is either. It means whispering. That's all that is. Bob Ross, he's, he's whispering. And he paints on the canvas and it's all scratchy. And he takes the paintbrush and dips it into the water and hits it on the easel to beat the devil out of it. And then sometimes Bob would have his squirrel in studio, and the squirrel would be like, that's ASMR. I'm, I'm home from school, third grade, just being like, I don't know why I'm so relaxed. But Bob, you're doing it right today. That's what my wife listens to every single night. Her favorite lady, she's got three-inch fingernails and this Wolverine woman is always just click clacking on things with their fingernails, typing on a keyboard, and out of nowhere, she'll be like, I'm going to eat a big pickle. (laughs) And I'm like, I'm about to fall asleep right now. Turn this off. I'm driving. It's nice. People with houses on the right. golf course, they're always complaining, you know, if you bounce the ball off their roof. They should shut up and wear a helmet, because I am playing through, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hitting patio furniture, bird feeders, I'm picking up cable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid to take a divot. They call me the farmer. Yeah. Yeah. With us in the studio, comedian Chad Daniels. Your wife is a college professor. Yes. Or are you a college man? No. Oh. That's that makes for interesting yeah, it does. contrast. Uh huh. And her friends uh, always remind me of it. Oh really? Oh really? Are they all college professors as well? Most of them. Mm-hmm. We were all getting dinner one night, and her friends were like, "So Chad, have you ever had Indian food?" And I was like, "Hello, Thanksgiving." <laughs> Aren't you a history so professor? Yeah. Didn't you know that? She has one friend from England that's always bragging about their language. We invented your language. You didn't have a language if it wasn't for us. Well, you spelled pneumonia with a P, stupid. <laughs> Nat starts with a G, and you're bragging about that. And she goes, "You know what? They're silent. You know what? You better be silent before I stab you in your face with a." Knife. <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We yeah, can't go anymore. Oh, That's cow. a good day's work, everybody. This is Bob and Tom. Tom Show sent you. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. Jess Galsman joins us. Hi. There's Josh Arnold. Hi, Chickster. Ace Cosby is here. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee. And here, lost... The thought is Tom Griswold. Running through some uh, emails. Yeah, I know. Oh, category of things that made you, uh, Chick irritated today. It's, it's, busy, a big, it's a big list. Busy, busy, busy. Big list of things that irritated Chick. Um, one of them was a news story I found about um, a psychological study that found 
you could make people run faster uh, uh -huh. using a certain uh, certain language. Mm -hmm. Fascinating story. Um, Fascinating. Yeah, uh, scientists <laughs> discovered that uh, if you uh, say "run like a jet," they would run faster. Were, really? Was this something we were worried about? <laughs> <laughs> I think if you're if you're a coach. Okay. Need um, to know what to say to the. This is serious research players? from the uh, University of Essex. Of course, uh, named after uh, David Essex from the Rock song On. Rock On. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is serious. It's it's it, r telling Rock runners to quote to oh, sprint wow. like a jet plane taking off appeared to produce the best results. Uh huh. Uh, the boosting speed uh -huh. by three percent over sixty five feet. I would Ooh. think yelling at them or cursing at them would like make them angry and run faster. But, but that can than, also like, be demotivating. Yeah. 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 See, and, and then what happened? Now here's some suggestions <laughs> from our listeners. <laughs> oh. Gary writes, uh -huh. say to them, what are you doing with my wife? Oh. The, <laughs> That'll get somebody running. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or this one, this is authentic. Uh, this is from uh, Sonia. Remembering back in the day, she goes, I'll tell you what will make you run. Nothing makes you run faster than hearing the words when you're on your grandpa's farm. The bull is out. Whoa, I bet. <laughs> Thank you very much, wow. Sonia. The farm. <laughs> Sounds like a great, nice day to be in the farm. Now, Christy Lee is at the Bob and Tom News Desk. What have we missed? <laughs> a scuba diver in Illinois has recovered about 200 Apple Watches from the bottoms of lakes. My goodness. He has a warning for Apple Watch owners. Don't go swimming with the original watch bands. Mr. Derek Langos is a scuba diver in Port Barrington. He makes a living using his metal detector to cover lost items. It's a living. <laughs> from the water at Indiana's Channel Lakes. And he has found about 200 Apple smartwatches during his dives. Hmm. Langos, operator of Scuba Bear Diving Recovery Service, said nearly all the watches have their original bands attached. I am Langos. The one with the sports <laughs> bands simply do not stay on in the water. That rubbery one that comes with the watch. Really? Mm -hmm. Have you found that to be the case? I don't wear that one. I ch changed it. I don't wear that kind. Hmm. But Yeah, I, don't, I, I quit wearing, my, my, wearing mine, too. I don't swim with my Apple Watch on, but no, I'm, I'd be nervous to do that. Who swims uh, with an Apple? Yeah, a lot of people you? do because you can register your swimming. Are they impervious to water? Yeah, apparently. Oh, but apparently not. But not too with the band. Off. Yeah. Okay, well that's certainly good to know. Yeah. Authorities in New Orleans say rats have invaded police headquarters and are eating the marijuana in the evidence room. Is that uh, right? And now they want more. <laughs> they want more, Tom. And, uh, and cheese. <laughs> I swear. I swear, Captain. Yeah, the, the, the rats are eating the marijuana yeah. in the evidence room. Oh, the rats ate joke. it, man. I'm not, yeah. I'm not taking it home. It's for the family. Oh, sir. This, this righteous weed. For the family. This delight, delightful bud. Police Superintendent Ann Kirkpatrick relayed the issue to the City Council's Criminal Justice Committee, saying the aging building is rife with vermin that have been scattering feces across desks and, fests and feasting on the cannabis. Mm. She said the rats are eating our marijuana. They're all high. <laughs> she is lobbying to relocate department headquarters. They don't give a damn. This is down in New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. New Orleans. All New Orleans. right. Okay. Where you at? Um. <laughs> you know, that's what they say in New Orleans. Where you at? Instead of how you doing or what's going on? Where I you like at? it. I like it. I like that, too. Where you at? Oh, it's been too long since I've been. To New Orleans? Yeah. yeah. Never been to New Orleans. Been there once. Really? You'd like it. You should go. Check it out. I've heard it's humid. Yes. Yeah, a lot of humidity. Sure, sure, yeah. Did you do Mardi Gras? Nope. It was a different time. Damp. I heard it's damp. Yeah. Yeah, nice yeah. 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 band. Wet. <laughs> it can, get, it can get real wet. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> sitting on your roof wet. Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Waiting for the right. boat to come up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's kind of wet. Well, they were given plenty of warning. Oh. As Tom would say. <laughs> a Sri Lankan plane was grounded for three days following an in-flight rat sighting. Oh. Times of India reports the rodent was spotted on a flight from the Pakistani city of Lahore. Excuse me, uh, could I have another Coke, please? <laughs> <laughs> A search of the entire aircraft to ensure that the rat had not chewed through any critical components. An airline official said the plane could not be flown without making sure the rat was accounted for. By the way, it was found 
dead. Mm. Oh, oh. Man, that airplane from Pakistan isn't up to standards, huh? Mm. Big news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that they have quality control. I don't Imagine think it's... loading an aircraft. You've got all kinds of critters running around. Do you guys have rats in your house? No. no. What? what? God, no. 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 What's the weirdest critter that's been in your home? A baby <gasps> squirrel. <gasps> oh, that's adorable. Yeah, I wanted to keep it, but I was overruled. I wasn't going to tell you about it, Chrissy, but now I have to. Uh, you had a squirrel in your house, a baby squirrel? No, I was skiing over the weekend. Oh, you, guy, hit, you hit a baby squirrel? No, the guy in front of me ran over a chipmunk. Oh, oh man. Oh, boy. Did he the term is he was doing it? eviscerated. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, Game Creek Bowl, I highly recommend it. Whoa. The skiing, not the killing of the chipmunk. No. I would like a chipmunk in my house. That'd be cool. Now it's just no, chip they eat rescue everything. ranger. Really? <laughs> oh. yeah, uh, no, you don't want chipmunks in your house. Well, last chipmunks. week I thought I had a giant worm with big eyes in my basement, and then I thought it was a baby snake. Was I, it one eye or two? It was two. And then, but it ended up being a salamander. Yeah, I've had, yeah. I, well, you live, we share backyards, I've, essentially. Yeah. I've had a couple salamanders was in my a house, hellbender too. hellbender or a but, salamander? Uh, maybe, I, I don't know. It was a uh, salamander, but it's, it looked like, oh. It makes cool. sense, because we have a creek that separates yeah. our yards, so. Never had one before, and it freaked me out, and I don't know, Donnie finally grabbed it, or my boyfriend, and then he tossed it to the backyard, so I don't yeah, know if they're yeah. kind of creepy or, looking. Yeah, they are creepy looking. I thought it was a snake. I've had two in my basement. Well, that's so. good to know. Yes. I'm surprised there aren't more critters on planes because they've got to load them and, you know, there yeah. all these animals running around out there. Hmm. Uh, well, tarmacs are usually noisy and I'd like yeah. to see a bird Concrete on a plane. And... A bird sitting there going, this is way better. <laughs> I'm nearly as tired as I'm going to A little bird-sized suitcase and a hat. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Wow. First class. Uh, is, how far south are we going? This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not winded at all. Oh, this is nice. Speaking Terrific. of birds, a village in the U.K. being bombarded with bird feces. Hmm. According to the BBC, tens of thousands of starlings have been forming um, murmurations. I've never seen this word. That's odd. Uh, uh, over Great Gunnerby for weeks. Gunnerby? Great Gunnerby, Gunnerby. Uh, those <laughs> awe inspiring the aftermath Look. of the aerial display, the, you know, where the sparlings all, you know, swoop together and they do leave the village coated with. I love that. Bird poop. Those birds that move, yeah, they, they, they really. seem to move that's like one. I could watch it for hours. Murmurations. Okay. Okay, everybody sing. Here we go. Murmuration. It's, it's raining rain poop. <laughs> It's rain and poop. <laughs> the birds are showering cars, windows, even their heads with poop. Let me poop. ask you something. Did you? Did it's you, raining poop. poop. Have you, did you have that all yeah. set up? You had to have I, a quick meeting. And, I had Jason get it for me about uh, four hours ago. Godwin's just grateful Tom didn't make him do it. <laughs> yeah, oh, he asked. He asked. One it's of the residents, Katie Emmett, said she, even just going out the front door, you end up with poop on your hands because it's all over the door handles. But here's the, best, here's the best part of this story. All right. The problem. God. There's more. She added the problem is particularly acute for her family as her daughter is blind. Oh, Why did you have to put that in the story? Look at him. Oh, <laughs> He's so happy. Why? What are you What are you finding joy in here? Here's your, here's your umbrella. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is an upside down <laughs> golf bag. What's going on? <laughs> Poor thing. Oh. Uh -uh. Poor thing, he says. <laughs> yeah, that he's <laughs> laughing and laughing. No, no, no. Totally safe to go with the poor thing. Here you go, Helen. Here's your umbrella. Yeah, yeah, Helen. Oh. They like it when I. He, 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 nothing funnier than him yeah, than a young it. blind girl slipping yeah. in bird crap. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh. I mean, he's. Hey, this is Hitchcock's going to make it. They're probably going to make a Hitchcock sequel, Josh. Oh, they are? Yeah, Birds number two, that's going to be called. Oh, <laughs> Story a lot going on. It's raining poop. That's the worst. That's the worst. The headline <laughs> reads, the Villagers complain of pitter-patter of poop. <laughs> pitter-patter of poop. Again, just a nice complimentary umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Put the top up in the car and drive. Mm. A turkey that had been terrorizing a Quebec town has been killed by a slingshot-wielding resident. What? <laughs> That's a turkey getting hit with a slingshot. According to the CBC, the aggressive bird had chased and attacked residents of Louisville. Mayor Yon... Hi, Louisville. <laughs> Hi. 
Uh, May, uh, Mayor <laughs> Yvonne Deshies issued a call to arms last week, and a local man took the turkey down with a slingshot. All right. It's illegal to hunt wild turkeys in Quebec before the hunting season, but the mayor claims he requested help and never heard back from the Environment and Wildlife Ministry. The ministry said it responded to the situation by sending game wardens to speak to residents about cohabitating with wildlife. It has since opened an investigation into the turkey's killing. What? Yes. They're spending time and money on figuring the it out? The mayor said, if they if they bring me to jail, I'll go, but it had to be done. There's one turkey. Yeah. No, there's, you, there are videos of this turkey attacking everyone. <laughs> everyone. Self People defense. walk by and this turkey comes running after them. Indiscriminately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no problem. There you go. I wonder what he would do if he caught you. My brother sent Get me, the cranberry sauce. Sent us a picture from his ring uh, the other day, and it was a turkey on his porch. Are you allowed to kill a turkey that is on your property if it's not in season? Now, the way I understand it is if you drag him into the house, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Whatever goes on in your house is all right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the laws are. King of, the king of your castle law. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I... Uh, well, that would have been what's that show? Uh, um, CSI was that the one? What's the one that, that always had the CSI? The, the the thing at the beginning and oh sure, the David yes, uh, what was the guy's name? Caruso. David Caruso would go. Uh, that bird was hot, but now looks like he's gone cold turkey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the turkey's name was don't you? <laughs> what? Osama bin Glo Goblin. <laughs> Osama bin Goblin. <laughs> that, that, easier to kill him that way. Hey, are you listening to the, our show right now on your Raycon earbuds? You deserve something. I hope you was are. Roger Daltrey kind of loud? Raycons have uh, amazing audio quality uh, at around half the price of other premium audio brands. And you remember, Raycons have those optimized gel tips that are designed to fit comfortably in every ear ever made and they actually stay in your ears they also raycons have seamless bluetooth syncing eight hours of playtime 32 hours of battery life and you don't have to worry about whether they're up for the task or not raycons are ready to go when you are all you have to do is go to buyraycon.com slash tom to get 20 percent off your raycon order plus free shipping that's right 20 percent off and free shipping just go to buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. They're the best. Spring break's coming up. Get those Raycons for the kids. I like the full coverage headphones from Raycon. Keep them in the back seat, nice and quiet, playing their games, watching their movies, and not going, are we there yet? No. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. Coming up. Osama bin Goblin. <laughs> Os Osama, yeah, see, that way yeah. you can. That is as dumb. <laughs> really? <laughs> How would you name him? Teddy Thinner? <laughs> Barbecue? <laughs> uh, well, you see, he was a wild turkey. Yeah. <laughs> what cold turkey. What's that song, Turkey in the Law? Turkey in the Straw? How does that go? Turkey in the Straw. How does that go? The, I don't no know. Idea. Yeah. Oh, that's Pop Goes the Weasel. Pop goes the Wait a minute. Osama bin Goblin. Okay, that we got it. Thank you. Cut. Uh, let's go in. Cut. Print it. <laughs> Allie Breen is next. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're... So we're getting back to your hobbies, James. You're yes. a bowler. Thank yes. You. You've got that going for you. <laughs> yes, Golf, uh, skydiving, scuba diving, went skydiving. skiing. You went skydiving? skydiving? How'd that go? Yes, I did. Well, was it, it a tandem jump? or did It you... was a tandem jump. Yeah, scared mm -hmm. me. I'm big. Mm -hmm. you know, I was going to say, I, I don't scared wanna... you. Who were you with? I was, was going to say, the other dude. <laughs> I was strapped to the guy. What do, you, what, do you, what do you weigh in at? Do you mind if I ask? Uh, then I was about 280, I guess. I'm mm -hmm. probably 295 now. Oh, yeah. my. God. Now, is the person, when you do the tandem, I'm, is the person with the shoot? land on somebody else. Is the person with the shoot in back of you? He's behind you. You don't have to do anything. You're Basically, like luggage. You're looking Screen, at. Uh, well, you're I'm just like, watching I... the ground come at you while yeah. the guy behind you has, to has the, the shoot and does all the work. And you've never been so glad to have a man strapped to your behind. Mm -hmm. Ever. You will never. Uh -huh. and, and you know they call it a sport too. Well, sure. The it's whole very time difficult. They're like, did you like the sport? Kind of. And I was like, 
falling is not a sport. Mm-hmm. You know, if it was, it's my grandmother end. would win a medal. So the, <laughs> the Silver Hip Award goes to. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. If you want to, actually, if you want to make a sport, you should just throw the parachute out of the plane and then make the guy jump and put it on Ooh. before he hits the ground. Oh, I like that. Now, now, for competition, sport. competition, yeah. throw one parachute out, three or four guys jump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there you go. On, he won. So did you glide in, James? We, no. we, gl- we glided in. And, and, and was, on the, on the did tape. You, did, you, did you fall or did you land stand? At the very last minute, he said, stand up, and I was already going down, and there wasn't no. Mm-hmm. But my ears did not pop. My, you know, really? The thing with the ears. Yeah, so oh. when I hit the ground, immediately I was like, uh, uh, he, he was like, how do you like it? And I was like, they were good. I enjoyed it very much. Because I could not <laughs> hear myself. Hear. Couldn't hear yeah. well, well, That's that because, see, if, if it were me, I, I would be tightening every orifice in my body yes. to prevent <laughs> leakage, uh, including my ears. Plus, there's a dude behind you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And that part stayed. That My ears did not pop until maybe the next day. And I had to sing. That night, I was doing a play called uh, Smoke on the Mountain. You're a you, singer? I didn't know Yeah, that. where you, you sing gospel music. It's a, a gospel music play. You so know, that smoke night was, on, on the mountain, mountain. <laughs> fire in the sky. Mm-hmm. It's a great cool. play. Yeah. So I'm trying to sing. I'm like, the made thing great that we <laughs> well, That's uh, unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I want to apologize to anyone who knows that well, might have well, a Well, I don't know if you're deaf, you automatically you. talk that way, even though you can speak. That's what it sounds clearly. like when you yeah. talk. Yeah. I mean, it's it's nerve wracking. And the more scared, you've already done it, the more scared of it you are, the better you get out, the more you get out of it. You know, it is really like that facing your fear and all that stuff. And when yeah. you're standing in the doorway of that plane, it's yeah, it's every cell in your body screams. You better hold on to something. (laughs) I mean, it's overwhelming. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Did you? Oh, no, no problems at all. Phil. Good, good. So, uh, are you ready to begin? Yes. Thanks for being here. <laughs> this has been Three Questions with. Join us next week for Three Questions with Osama bin Laden. That's it. Hi, this is August Smith, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Comedian Jim Gaffigan joins us in the studio. A family man, a clean liver. Now, when you're on stage, Jim, you don't do a, a blue kind of show, do you? I'm very clean and kind of, uh, you know, I talk about cake for like an hour because, you know, cake's an important cake. topic. Cake. Absolutely. Tell me about cake. We all know cake's bad for us. You know, sometimes we try and disguise the fact we're having cake. It's breakfast. I can't have cake. I'll have a muffin. You know the difference between a cake and a muffin? What? Nothing. <laughs> How about those mini muffins? How much denial are we in when we're eating mini muffins? <laughs> oh, I'm just going to have like one or 12. <laughs> They're so small they don't really count. They're like muffin vitamins. <laughs> I them, I feel like an astronaut. That's why I have them for breakfast. I can't have cake for breakfast. Unless it's a pancake. How'd that slide through? <laughs> You're not having cake for breakfast. You're having fried cake with syrup for breakfast. <laughs> I'll load up on that and try not to nap. 
I got thrown out of J.C. Penny the other day. Really? Yeah, fondling up the mannequins. <laughs> Believe that? And that ain't my fault. Have you seen the mannequins in there? Uh -huh. And they taunt you, too. They got the little short skirt on, arm up, kind of waving you over. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shoot. I tell you what, if you ask me, the little whore was asking for it. <laughs> Hi, this is Andy Kindler, and this is a different register in my voice. And you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's time to help people who are hopelessly in love. Oh. Here we go. Try again this week. So far, <laughs> total, we've helped... Uh, Zero people, but uh, maybe this week is the week that we actually do help someone. And we have assistance uh, in this uh, endeavor. She is the lovely yeah. Allie Breen with her lipstick. We've matches. helped one or two. Your, your, yeah. lipstick, your <laughs> lipstick matches your shirt, Allie. And my shirt matches my painting, Jason yeah. just pointed out. I'm all coordinated today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Uh, now, um, the way the show works is people send you letters uh, about problems yeah. with their love life, and we try to assist them. Now, uh, uh, before we get to that, Allie... We were discussing uh, dining turnoffs, and uh, I think some of these are pretty interesting. And I know that you Ooh. have um, made the rounds, if you will. You you have uh, dated over the course of uh, your brief fifty-eight uh, years tour of the planet. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're just digging uh, that hole deeper, aren't you? Uh, sorry. I, uh, yeah. Tell me, uh, th here's the number one turn. These intros are getting better and better. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, being rude to waiters, do you, I, I find that a huge turn off. Do you? Do you? Uh, huge. Okay. Yeah, definitely. How about a spitting food onto the plate? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, of, of course. course. Is there anyone who's not turned off by that? How about spitting food onto your plate? Is that uh... that's disgusting too? Okay, so I have, of course, yeah. I have a pretty yeah. severe uh, regurgitation fetish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you so find it fed like a baby bird? Would you that find it offensive if uh, if you just had a meal in your first aid and the guy whips out a toothpick and starts digging away? Ugh. Yep, gross. Okay. Really gross. Go in the bathroom and do that. What about blowing your nose at the table? Ah. Oh, yeah. Well, and especially, have you ever had a guy do that in a cloth napkin? Yeah. Disgusting. What? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna start bringing my own of those. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've got a cloth napkin, you, you must get up and leave and go blow your nose? Is that your point? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. okay. Definitely. All right. Um, what about um, if the guy reaches over with a fork and sort of stabs your steak to try it without asking? Not great, but I don't think I'd really care that much. Okay. They're very nice. This yeah. one that ended up on the list is kind of, uh, I don't know if it's out of place, but it affects someone in this room. Really? Preparing fish in the office microwave. Mm, <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I had no idea it would be that Luckily, bad. though, we've... For Let not. you forget yes. it. <laughs> I, I don't. This one wouldn't bother me. Using a knife and fork to eat pizza. Yeah, that doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, I do it. I do that. So yeah, me I. too. Yeah. What okay. about ladies when uh, the guy orders uh, like something like ribs or uh, you know something mm -hmm. messy, mm -hmm. and uh, he reaches over and grabs your boobs <laughs> <laughs> to wipe off? No, just to grab, just, uh, to, okay. just to touch how soft they are. That would be a turn off, yes. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, when you were on the dating scene, Allie, would you <laughs> deliberately order something not messy on a first date so you would not be, you know, or, or, or would you, see what I'm saying? You wouldn't want to get, like, ribs you have to pick up and get your fingers all funky. No, I don't think I thought about it that much. I'm big, like, I like nachos. I like wings. Yeah, I think that I would go for it. All right. I would, I would really... Yeah, Good for too you. much okay. about it. <laughs> All right, here, here's you know a... what a turnoff is, though? What? I don't know if one's on there. The, the guy, when you're in a booth, and the guy who tries to sit next to you instead of across from you. Oh, my I gosh. Yeah, of course. Hate it. Yeah, uh, that's a bad one. You mean when you're not like a couple, it's just like some rando? <laughs> No, even a couple. Like, as a couple, I don't like it. Oh, yeah. oh you don't? I mean, maybe if you've been with a guy for a while, but no. No. What do you do? It's this so isn't a horse-drawn carriage. Like <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what if you make this noise? <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that saves it, right? Yeah. That yeah. makes it better. Yeah. That works. That's what I thought. Is it that way? I like to use my left hand. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> this is, here's a turnoff. Turnoff number 27. Mixing ketchup and mayo together. Yeah, that's sure. Gross. Yeah. Really? Gross. 
That's a turnoff? Well, but somebody in this conversation doesn't like mayonnaise as a blanket statement. I mean, so. no, it's, it's sort of a hillbilly move, isn't it? Yeah. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I make my own dips. Okay. That's right. How about ordering a funky it's cheese? Kind of European. Yeah. This is ordering a stinky cheese. Ugh, yeah. Especially probably if you go, ah, oh, you smell like this? Ew. Yeah, that would be a turnoff, probably. Yeah, that would probably be a turnoff. I think that would be. Okay, I'm sorry. Allie, let's get to our letters. Sorry to, get, to go this get sidetracked there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know Dear how that Allie. happened. Yeah. <laughs> it never happens, usually. Mm -hmm. Dear Allie, my boyfriend is a, this threw me, is a big foot guy. I thought she said big foot guy at first. Oh. But my boyfriend is a big foot guy. I love the massages and foot worship, but now he's liking to dip my toes in alcohol and suck it off. Very so it's nice. a whole long thing instead of just a few minutes of foreplay. Then we get all wet and sticky, and I constantly have to wash the sheets afterwards. Ugh. Can't we just drink like normal people and then have sex like normal people too? What is going on here? Uh, Josh. I, I know he'll feel good when you use the phrase normal. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like normal people. Yeah, that'll make uh, him feel all right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, he's pouring the alcohol on your foot? Sounds like he's dipping it. He's got a big cup or something. Yeah. <laughs> that punch, can yeah. take a while, isn't it? A punch it? bowl. <laughs> punch bowl. Yeah, that's a real... She's not kidding. It's a whole thing. That has to be tricky. I don't really know how you dip a foot. Just you have to be, like, on your stomach to get the foot at the right angle. This is... Re Never mind. Maybe, maybe he <laughs> likes to suck on the heel. <laughs> Maybe. He, I mean, well, it sounds like he does like to. He likes the whole foot there. He, I wonder what kind of alcohol. Is, is he picky about the alcohol? <laughs> sticky. I mean, I mean hopefully a, it's not like a, a margarita. Yeah, is it <laughs> sticky and messy. Margaritas Daiquiris? are sticky. <laughs> yeah. Here, honey. I, yeah. I'm going to put your foot in a mudslide. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough booze in this stuff. <laughs> uh, you just got to let them know, hey, 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 I'm into this, but uh, can we find a happy I mean, medium here? Maybe once a month? <laughs> well, yeah, that whole process. Right, special occasion. Yeah. You've got to be ready to go at the same time, so I would think that's the opposite for you. You kind of, you know, dry up. Right, right. If it's turning her off, she's right. not going to, yeah. yeah. So, ugh. Well, as Josh often says, though, this guy, this is this guy's thing. It's not going to change. No, you got to, but you got to talk to him. Yeah, he wants you to be happy too. I hope. Well, yeah, Pre yeah. presumably. I wonder, if, I wonder if he gets cheap booze for the foot thing. Like if yeah, got, yeah. If he's got oh, top no. shelf. If he's got the top shelf for actual drinks, and then well, you know, no, no, don't touch that. That's for my. That's my foot juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's just gonna dip her feet in. Uh, there. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't what about that. the extra? You can't go through the whole glass of alcohol probably you wonder if he pours it back into the bottle for oh. company probably chugs it god no he might uh, we... i hope not <laughs> mm, yeah mm, toe jam uh. toe jam and jack <laughs> <laughs> delicious uh. Uh -huh. okay let's get to our next letter ally breen Please. dear ally my girlfriend had a girls night out the other night and her friends were posting a bunch of clips in their stories in every story she was in the background talking and dancing with the same guy I brought it up and she said, I'm being insecure and jealous, but that seems like a lot more than innocent flirting. She won't even tell me who the guy is. Am I actually being crazy or is she? I think you are being a little insecure. Yeah. She's wrong. No. She's, 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 no. Oh, she's, she has a reason yeah. to be insecure. Uh -huh. she's, oh, yeah, she I got know. caught. Yeah. No, she's same guy each same picture. Same guy. She's up to something. Yep. <laughs> Girls night out. Did she post anything? Because she probably was too busy dancing with him. So yeah. she didn't yeah. post any pictures uh, or right. videos. Right. I'm surrounded by the jaded and insecure. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yep. 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 Who hurt you? That's the way you don't get hurt, being insecure. Many. How many? Do you want me to write a list? Could I have a, can you narrow it down to like a year? Be... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I would be suspicious. Especially if she won't even say yeah. the guy's name. She, she might not even know it. Well, then oh, you say that. Oh, that makes it even worse. <laughs> if you talk to a guy all night and don't know his name, yeah, that's a weird... Honey, I didn't. I don't even know his name. It made the sex very impersonal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. I was thinking about you the whole time. Yeah. I just call him McDreamy. <laughs> uh, okay. All righty. Next. He should. He could actually ask the friends. I'm sure the friends would have the intel on that. Depends on how good her friends are, if they'll sell her out or not. Oh, yeah, they're pretty true. bad friends if they didn't actually pay attention to the photos and stuff they're uploading. Like, <sighs> let's get That's Susie Because it was innocent. <laughs> yeah, they're right. already the ones who got her in trouble. Yep. I'm in the minority here, though. 
Okay. I guess I'm too confident. Okay. <laughs> yeah, none of us can figure out why. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Tom and I were just having this conversation. I'm glad you brought unearthed. this up. Yeah. What's going on over there? <laughs> what else do you have, Allie? <laughs> this one. Wait, where did this go? There's one that's specifically for all men. Oh. oh, boy. Um, she okay. wants permission to hear I mean? <laughs> This is, okay, here we go. Yeah, my ex-girlfriend of three months is crazy. We broke up over a year ago, and she still tries to break into my social media accounts and reset the password, and then finds anyone I'm dating and tells them she's still my girlfriend or wife and that I'm a cheater. I figured it would end after a few months, but it's only getting worse. I think Osman might know how to combat the crazy. What should I do? Uh, Restraining order. You literally screenshot all the stuff and just take it to the police. Wow. It's very professional. Yep. I think it actually takes more than that for a restraining order. I think you have to, like... Yeah, I think you have to be threatened. I don't know. I think something. there's three... Yeah, she's I think it's like she's, you have to get threatened with violence. But maybe she's threatening these uh, other potential girls, and they're scaring them away. Or... Or get off social media. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that's not, not necessarily fair. fair. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, no one's going to do then that. Then create another account and start... Like spamming her, you know what I mean? Like catfish her. Well, that'll so help. So she will uh, take the attention. <laughs> Doesn't like putting nothing like, like like poking a psycho mm. with yeah. a stick. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't have any rabbits. Yeah, they're going to be in the stew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 the oh. psycho handbook. Yeah, yeah. That is crazy, yeah. though. Ugh. I'm not sure we can fix this one. Allie Breen is our guest. Allie is a fine stand-up comedian. You'll find her A L L I. B-R-E-E-N, on various social media platforms. Send her your love troubles. We'll try to expand upon them. And um, uh, let's do one more, Allie. What have you got? Dear Allie, I was telling my best friend that things are not going well with my boyfriend. She's been really supportive, and I've been able to confide in her a lot. The other day when my boyfriend went to get the mail and left his phone on the couch, I just took a quick look, and she had sent him a nude pic. But then right after, a message saying, oh, my God, I meant to send this to somebody else. I'm so embarrassed. My heart literally stopped. I think she probably did this on purpose. What yeah, absolutely, you yes. This, uh, yeah. you're, you're toast. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't know that I, oof. I don't think it's, I don't know. I don't think it's fair to say that she did it on purpose. Uh, really? But why would Why would she have her, her boyfriend's phone number? Because, oh. As the first, <laughs> like, as the first yeah. text message. Because like they're sleeping on. together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm just putting this feeler out there in case you're interested. And by, by the way, uh, please request yeah. all listeners when they do that to send us the photograph so we can judge <laughs> based on posing what the, the yeah. level of... Uh, yeah, no, this is bad. Yeah, that is unfortunate. This, 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 this is rough. Oh, man. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, because you need someone's contact to be right at the top of your phone to make that mistake. I right. would think. So that, she'd have to search in order to get that, you know. Try to look on the bright side. I don't know. Yeah, this what's is that? Uh, two less Christmas presents next year. Oh, that yes. you, have to, you have to buy. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good thing. You'll save about 40 bucks. I and you know, odds are probably two, less, two fewer birthdays, probably. <laughs> right, I mean, it was their right. January Feb. I, <laughs> ah, sorry that happened. <laughs> okay, well, let's do one more letter, Allie, if you've got one more with you. Once again, you can yeah, reach Yeah, dear Allie. Allie. Okay, oh. go ahead. Go ahead, Allie. <laughs> sorry. Dear Allie, my girlfriend got a face tattoo the other day. Uh, it's a small heart where guys usually get teardrops, but I'm a little worried this might lead to more. Also, she actually has an old tattoo of her ex's name on her rib cage and hasn't gotten it changed or covered. Should I ask her to handle that? What should I do? All right, that you just got to let go for now. That's not a big deal. She got a tattoo at a time when she was with somebody else. And she yeah. can only afford a little tiny heart. Apparently, right, get over so it. So clearly, quality, quality <laughs> decision making, not her strength. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the, the heart tattoo sounds kind of cute. Huh? By yeah. her eye, like yeah, like I like it. Prisoner? Okay, yes. Um, that doesn't yeah, that doesn't forever, that though. doesn't shout terrible decision making to you. I am turned on by women who make bad decisions. <laughs> no, 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 I see because enough. you see yourself as their next bad decision. That's, that's right. That of course, that I'll, never scares I'll me. How stupid away. of me! <laughs> that's a good point to slap it right on your face if you're going to let people know you have poor decision making. Yeah. Why not? You'd really have to hunt to find a tattoo person that would do that for you. To put I on, bet. Put man. it on your face. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're getting out there. A lot of the. Yeah. I don't. I don't get it. Yeah. I mean, in New York, there's a ton. I didn't think it was that hard to find. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, yeah. 
But did you guys see that machine gun Kelly? Yeah, that he's blacking out. Upper body is yeah. yeah Kat insane. Von D did the same thing. She's blacked out all Ooh. hers. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Again, it's it's a a crazy these look. are showbiz millionaires, so they can do that. If you do that, the average person does that. It's shouts, I'm not going to get the job. Well, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In their defense, you don't really see it unless they have a shirt off, but. I mean, talk about the facial. I can't tattoos. imagine that much ink on your body's. Could be good for you. It can't be healthy. That, yeah, <laughs> that bothers me. That part more than anything else. I don't care what it looks like. It's just like, oh, can't be healthy. Hmm. So you're saying she's tattooed her entire body black? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, her midsection and her decolletage, or however you say that, and her arm. Yeah. So it looks like she's yep. wearing a looks like she's wearing a t-shirt. A black t-shirt. Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, yep, like a skin tight. Same with Machine Gun Kelly. It's a very strange look. Yeah. It's a, ooh. So it it's just, gotta be painful too. Yes. But is, isn't the larger lesson here maybe getting in the first place was a pretty bad idea? <laughs> you would say. Uh, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> what is what relation is this girl to this guy? Are they boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. Boyfriend girlfriend. All right. Yep. Well, you, maybe you don't yeah. like her that much. Yeah, but you don't think she should get the guy's name erased from her belly? Maybe in due time, but I don't know. Like if these are if they're committed as a couple, then maybe she would remove it. That'd be a nice gift. It's a gift certificate to get, you know, tattoo removal for, you know, get see if you can have Leo's name taken off your... I say that's just not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> <Pudenda>. <laughs> Okay. I think we're done here. Tired yeah, of, I think we're way of, done. Tired of reading about them. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. We'll see you. Are you working this weekend? Thanks, guys. I'm sorry. Are you working yeah, this weekend? Yeah, I'm actually... Tonight, I'm working out in Long Island at a place called Borelli's with Colin Twin. So right. if anyone's in the area... Cool. 7 o'clock tonight. That's That'll great. be fun. Right. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. We'll talk Thanks, to you next guys. week, Allie. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Right. Sounds um, good. Let me tell you about Simply Safe. Experts and customers love Simply Safe, the do-it-yourself, design-it-yourself home security system. You know, it was named best home security system of 2024 by U.S. News and World Report and best customer service in home security by Newsweek. Simply Safe has advanced technology, protects every room, window, and door of your home, and high def cameras keep watch for suspicious activity 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> it's easy to install the system yourself or have their professionals do it. And Simply Safe has a 60 day risk free trial. If you don't love your system, which I've never heard of, you can return it for a full refund. Protect your compound today. Bob and Tom Show listeners. Get a special 20% off any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. Just visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. Remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Coming up, a little bit of history lesson for you. It's a good one, too. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix 24 7. Get all the info in the VIP area at Bob and Tom. If you are a chick, do you want to? Heck work? yeah. Okay. Why not? Well, wait a minute. Uh -huh. I have a question. How, are we just going to do this right in front of everybody? <laughs> and, Doctor, I, I assume you just go in with one <sighs> finger. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. It's, yes. I got to right. warn you, Joyce left the uh, lube in her car last night. Oh, oh, oh it should be good funny, and cold. Funny stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's always cold lube. Uh huh. Why don't they? Yeah, they should use a warming lube. Sarah, start playing the violin. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't hear the screams. Yeah, yeah. right. so, you, know, you know the theme from Deliverance? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Okay, okay this. You do the play is, by play. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. Ah! 
That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show is coming. That's right, Rock 105 WKLC bringing us to town with a live broadcast with... Special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus... Don't forget. You see the word "don't forget"? <laughs> no, but it's all. But it's like it's like it half says, a sentence. Don't miss an yeah, amazing it's just like comedy don't show. Miss amazing Start is a over. wrong word. Hey, Charleston, it's the Bob and Tom Show. That's right, and our friends from Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live broadcast. Space. <laughs> Speech. Speechery. One more time. Here we go. This for sure. Here we go. All right. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show coming to, yes, your area from Rock 105 WKLC. They're bringing us to town for a live show. Special guest, Duke Tomato. <laughs> you nerds. <laughs> Start over. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, or if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show Comedy Tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold, and all hosted by yourself. Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time it's at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! Leading you into the 19th century. <laughs> Bob and Tom. They put the F in professional. All right. On October 26, 1881, the shootout at the OK Corral took place in Tombstone, Arizona. No kidding. Oh, yeah. It was the Earps and Doc Holiday versus five members of the Cowboys. How long would you guys guess the actual gunfight lasted? Wasn't it a couple hours? Yeah. 30 seconds. Oh. 30 seconds? The actual shooting, 30 seconds. No yeah. kidding. Which really disappointed the people watching it on pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's close to the Tonight only. Right. Okay, <laughs> okay corral. All that, all that build up. Pay-per-view <laughs> rip-off. Yeah, I've, I've, I've watched a couple of those bouts. <laughs> yeah. uh, That's it? <laughs> Not even around? 59 <laughs> That's a... Ten dollars a second. <laughs> All right. The technical reason the shootout happened was because the Clantons and the McLowrys were in direct violation of town ordinance number nine, which made it illegal to carry guns in city limits. Thanks to the NRA, that ordinance no longer exists. <laughs> yeah, now not only can you carry a gun, you can legally shoot people who smoke in restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. next. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. That's next.
This magician's on stage, and he invites this guy from the audience to give him a sledgehammer. The magician says, I want you to hit me in the temple as hard as you can with a sledgehammer. <laughs> the guy goes, all right. <laughs> so the magician lays his head down on his block of wood, and this guy hauls back. Bam! Pops this guy in the temple. Ten years later, the magician wakes up out of a coma in the hospital and goes, Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is comedian Rob Haney. Saturday night. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Top Show. Hello, hello. And that means it's allergy season. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. You just missed Josh sneezing. Those of you joining us. Oh, uh, well, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, speaking of things missed, what I know miss? a lot of people miss this, but it's happening right now. <laughs> Yesterday, I, I couldn't figure this out. Somebody was waving at me, and I couldn't tell if they were waving at me or the people behind me. I lost my job as a lifeguard. Oh. That was Ace Cosby's <laughs> joke of the day. Mm. Somebody drowned. Why? <laughs> well, not necessarily. They, maybe they were lucky there. enough to revive them for the sake of the yeah. joke. Steve got them. Uh, okay. Steve got them. Uh, now, um... <clears throat> That could be the the Steve backup life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time now for today in history. The Ides. The Ides, people. It's the Ides. Yeah. Not, not quite. Is it? It's the 15th? The 15th? Yeah, the 15th. Is, I thought it was No. It is 13th. The 15th is Just the one day? Yes. The Ides, it's plural. Right. And I think tomorrow's Pi Day. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure, sure is. is. Oh, so yeah. what kind of pie will we be having? Oh, it's going to be funny. <laughs> oh, three point one four tomorrow. Is that what it yeah. is? I yeah, don't even I don't get that. So, I um, <laughs> happy <laughs> birthday today. Uh, what's it? Um, three thirteen. Uh, nine. Uh, excuse me. Uh, born in nineteen eleven. L. Ron Hubbard, of course. Uh, that is Spanish for the Ron Hubbard. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> mother, old mother's son. He's the uh, founder, founder of Scientology. Mm -hmm. Author of Battlefield Earth. Yep. Um, happy birthday to the Is very that where it all started? <laughs> I think they're tied together. <laughs> uh, ha um, happy birthday. William H. Macy. Oh, I like him. Great actor. Yeah. Um, Hiram is the H. Yeah, William Hiram Macy. Um, if that's true or not, I can't believe you guys still think I I'm like telling it. the truth. <laughs> it's a popular middle initial. H. 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 George H. W. Butch. Bush? Butch? No, that's Butch. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> President Butch. There had to be. There's a, there's a drag George, queen. <laughs> yeah, named George, there has to be a, Butch, Butch, uh, a, a political drag queen named George Butch. There has <laughs> to be. Like the, the, Mark, the Mark Russell of drag queens. The President yes. George yeah. H. W. Butch. She often dances with Bacock Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's a popular <laughs> William H. Macy. Mm -hmm. Jesus H. Christ, it's mm -hmm. very, oh, sure. very pop. Um, born in 1972, the uh, rapper slash actor known as Common. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not there, sure. His I'm, name's John Smith, right? Isn't it? Very common. <laughs> is, it, is it a common name? I see. Uh, happy birthday. Let's see. Oh, no, we move on to uh, the world of uh, television. Uh, now, in 1982, this show uh, premiered with William Shatner on ABC. Josh, what was it? What show? Or what year? 82. Uh, I'm going to say uh, Marcus Welby. Police uh, no. woman. No, <laughs> T.J. Hooker. Thank you, uh. Ace. <laughs> yep, it's bad TV. That tracks. T.J. Hooker. T.J. Hooker, yeah. A, a, pro a problematic right? name with the name Hooker, so they're, yeah. they're, change they're, they're rebooting it, of course. As? Uh, T.J. Sex Worker. Ah, yeah, that's good, yeah. <laughs> with William Poopner. Poopner. <laughs> oh, they're cleaning up that, yeah. too. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um... He now, just likes that word. Ace, yep. do you remember who played his rookie partner? Just... Adrian Zemed. Adrian Zemed. Of Greece, too? Yeah. yeah. And wasn't wasn't he the... Dance Fever? Dance Fever. Didn't he replace... Uh, Denny Terrio? Denny Terrio. Yeah. He's actually pretty funny in uh, Bachelor Party. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's that see. Right? Yeah, he does make me laugh in that. Yeah. This is interesting. In, in 2012, Encyclopedia Britannica decided to do what, Josh? 2000, uh, go digital. Yeah, they stopped printing them. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> what year? 
Uh, not uh, 2012. I remember thinking encyclopedias were insanely overpriced. Yeah, it, they so were. expensive. Like, I'll take the whole set. That'll be twenty five hundred dollars. Oh like, yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, absolutely. Can I just yeah. have a? How about that? <laughs> and only the do. rich people could have them, and you would be like so jealous. Okay, Christy, this is a name um, that became much more prominent in 2013. What? Jorge Mario Bergoglio. Who is it? <sighs> Or a, I don't know, oh. Mario Lopez? I don't know. No, it's Pope Francis. <laughs> oh, I should know that. Yeah. Did, did Relax, Francis. Yeah. Now, uh, so um, do we, does anyone still call him Jorge, do you suppose? Probably his close friends. You think? Yeah. Sure. There's sure. a book coming out next month, The Pope. But, wow. Is that right? What's yeah. it about? Uh, it's called the Da Vinci, da Vinci Code 2. <laughs> <laughs> this time it's real. Isn't that something? It's called Call Me Frank. <laughs> time now for things we learned on the show today. He really is coming out with a book, though. Tom says Pat really? Godman's new song. <laughs> what is it? God, God Win? It's a Pope yeah. Up book. <laughs> uh, his new song. <laughs> Pat's new song about Wordle is an instant classic. I love it. To Tom. Oh, the miter has to be in the right. middle. Kind of a Bob and Tom <laughs> show on the road, uh, opening day in Cincinnati on March 28th and April 5th for April 5th day in Charleston, West Virginia. If the Pope's book isn't called Pope Pari, <laughs> as Tom Griswold just suggested, what is he doing? Uh, daylight savings time is kicking uh, mine and Tom's ass. Yeah, I can't uh, get adjusted. I've, I've got to get some all sleep. Morning. I'm fine. Yeah. Never felt better. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think your fatigue has been has been clearly demonstrated with your contributions today. <laughs> How did I get? I was joining in with you, and now I'm. Oh, I thought he was talking to me. I was. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Phew. <laughs> Uh, we searched and searched for Olympic update for Paris, but we can't find anything. So this Olympic, Olympic music, we will get some. Tomorrow. We had a raccoon in a McDonald's. Yeah, we did. Raccoon up to the people and said, you're not even washing your food with your hands. Come on. <laughs> a cute little feller. He's going to be the new, uh, the new hamburglar. He's got the suit already. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest dash rules. Or just scroll down to the bottom of the page and see contest rules. This is the Bob and Tom Show.